She's like a Barbie doll today. She has like the hair, the peach, the jewelry, What's the shoes. the nicest thing you've ever said? <laughs> she got some new hair. I, I know, but could we not talk about that? <laughs> She's getting sassy on me. Honey, I have always been sassy. I am much older than you. I've been sassy my whole life. Now it's your turn to be sassy. What was your goal for Kendall moving forward? My goal was to make sure that Kendall made it on this team, was secure on this team. And you know, it started out good, but who knew it would go south so quickly? Oh, yeah. probably. Let me see, that's beautiful. Did you make that? Um. Yes, that's an old no, costume. You didn't say it's old. I didn't say I made it. But did she wear it at her other studio? No. You just had that hanging in your closet. Well, maybe it wasn't mine. Maddie, Maddie, maybe it was someone else's that hair. lent it to Maddie. me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Jill, let me see her costume. Okay, okay, this is the white costume. Okay. You did not whip that up last night. Oh, I never said I whipped it up last night. You didn't say go home and whip up. I'm not Becky Homecky. I don't whip up costumes. Where did that costume come from? Because it's obviously not pieces of something you pulled together. I just wanted to this use pieces that you had at home and come up with something at the last minute. This is what I came up with. Well, whose is that, may I ask? This is Kendall's costume. You have not seen her in this costume. Somebody somewhere has Kendall's seen her in it. Costume. It's Kendall's costume now. It's not one of her old costumes. I'm trying to teach the children a lesson. They don't need a $500 costume to win. You have something at home, make it it's work. It's not about winning. It's That's... about what I want to put my daughter in. No, it's about what I want to put your daughter in. Whipped up Go costumes. Get what you have. I can't believe you guys wouldn't back me up on this. Because she we're did. following the rules. You're not. She's I'm going like, out there I'm in the like gymnasium flower. in her costume that I brought for her. You're looking me in the eye. This Has is her costume. Has she ever worn that costume in a competition or a stage or a show or a showcase or a performance or a school gig or anything else? Yes but you haven't seen her in it. None of you have seen her in it. I don't care if somebody else in the world did. What are you doing? I'm gone. I'm leaving. You don't want me here. I'll just make no. it easier for we you. We want you here. We want you to play by the rules. Like, whatever. Please, Jill, whatever. I'll pack my this. bags and go home right now. Is that, would that make you guys all really happy? No, that would not make me happy. Because that's and you what know I'm who's doing. Gonna lose? I'm sick of this You're, It's going to be. Done. It's going to be your time that it loses out. Good it's your for you. Jill's throwing shoes and she's cursing, and all I'm thinking is, you are so hard to take seriously wearing that hat. Yeah, you know what? You're exactly right. It's supposed to be about the kids. Let her wear the <laughs> costume. Come on, Mom. <laughs> Mom Bear came out. Well, but there was there was so much more to that. There was so much more to that. That was the day everybody had solos. Oh, right. Not one person made their own costume, not one. They all went home and grabbed old costumes, and so did I. Mackenzie wore an old costume that Melissa had Maddie wear the year before. Mom, stop yelling. No, I just, that, that was, that was rough. They were saying play by the rules, and no one else there had played by the rules. Ladies, let's go, come on. What's with your shoes? I didn't think you'd mind. I'm on my toes. The floor is $68,000. All right, first I want to talk about last week. I must say I'm a little disappointed. We were just out danced. It's that energy level. You can't have a bunch of slugs out on stage. This weekend, we will be attending Dance Explosion in Secaucus, New Jersey. You're gonna get some heavy hitters there, I'm telling you, right now. I'm gonna start with the pyramid. And first, I have Kendall. Kendall, I thought you did a nice job. You're here because your mother is way too needy. Abby, that's ridiculous. Why isn't she doing a solo? Why isn't she doing a duet? Why doesn't she have a special part? And that's part? needy? That's inquisitive. Why doesn't she have a solo? Kendall's in the very bottom spot on the pyramid, and Mommy didn't like that very much. You're punishing her for something I did. Bingo! There you go. Moving on. Nia, once again, I need to see energy. I need to see excitement. The next we have Brooke. You're back. But is Brooke really back? I'm really happy to be back at the Abby Lee Dance Company. But I just feel a lot of pressure on me. Moving on. Paige, great job in the tuck. I just need to see you do that throughout all of your dancing. I'm really upset that I'm not higher on the pyramid because I had my own part in the dance and I did really good in it. Moving on up the ladder. Maddie, you danced well. 
I expect more from you. Chloe, same thing. Great performance on stage. You just need to learn to pick up quicker. And at the top of the pyramid, Mackenzie. I've never been on the top of the pyramid, so that's why I'm really surprised. She won in Nutley, New Jersey. She won in Long Island, New York. Do you have another win in you for Secaucus, New Jersey? I don't know. We are not going to do a group routine this week. Each and every dancer will be doing a solo. It's every man for himself. This is your chance to shine. Every girl is doing a solo this week, but I still need to do the pyramid. They need to see how they rank in my eyes. And for one time only, you all get to help out with the costumes. Since we are doing seven completely different solos this weekend, I don't have time to worry about costumes. This is your chance to go for that Tony, Christy. You're gonna come to me, show me what you have, and I can veto it or I can accept it. So Abby's final little surprise at Pyramid is that the moms are responsible for the costumes this week. And there are to be no recycled costumes and no costumes that she has seen before. I don't wanna see anything from any other studios. I wanna see you come up with something original. Moms, I'm gonna dismiss you at this time. Girls, spread apart, start warming up. I'd like to know how she's gonna get seven solos done in a day. In, in a day. With solos, it's only you. There's no one to hide behind. There's no one to blame something on. You either go out there and you kick ass or you fall flat on your face. Stop! My solo is an acro jazz routine and it's called shoulda, coulda, woulda. Now, can you like, oh, yawn, oh, yes! I don't have time to make a costume. I mean, it's great that- I have to make two. Personal. You guys don't have old costumes? Your kids have been dancing We're not allowed to years. use them again. You're not allowed to use any of your costumes. I still, I have, I have tons of costumes. I know, but you're not allowed to use any of them, she said. She said none. Uh, none. Trust me, I have costumes she's never seen on stage or on my daughter or anybody else. She's not gonna know. She'll know. Sneaky Jill is telling us that, oh, I just might use one of Kendall's old costumes because Abby hasn't seen it yet. Well, that's not playing by the rules. Do you but see how it worked out for you to speak studio. up about a special part? You got booted yeah, down the end of the pyramid. The now the now you're going to go against the costume thing? I st and I you came in with your boots on. You know what? Exactly. I want to know why you got to wear your boots and I had to take mine off. Well, you know what? I'm kind of tired of it. And I actually understand what's going on here, and I won't let that happen again, where my actions are going to affect Well, that's my all that happens here. You better go to a well, new also, studio. Yeah, don't you better keep yourself, here. like, in a bubble, because <laughs> anything you do wrong. She's one of those people who, every time something happens, she writes it into a contract. Why do you think we're still here? We, in our contract, it says, because our kids want a title, if we left, that it would cost us $100,000 in cash. Within seven days, or she would blackball us in the world of dance. She's crazy. Yeah. Well, flat I, out crazy. <laughs> when you sign up at the Abby Lee Dance Company, she makes you sign a contract. And the contract basically says that she owns you for a year. She yeah, but I don't know. How much oh, she's does got she a have? lot of connections. I know yes. she's left here. Yes, and she's blackballed them all. She's ruined them. Okay, and you guys couldn't have told me this before I came in here? You wanted to come? my sweet little apples. So here we are again. Let's go to the PPP, the Perfect Positive <laughs> Pyramid, and let's just take a little look-see at what we've got going on. All of us this week are all equal. Then we've got that top card with a big question mark. Now let's get serious about this question mark. Abby Lee, Dance Center had an open call for some new talent. If she can look for new talent, why can't we? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have an open call, a large crowd, lots of volume, and it's gonna be fun. is a Spanish influence and the song is instrumental. Well, it has some like little Spanish singers in the back. Ah! 
you have three days to get this number clean. And if one thing a Spanish dance is, is clean and precise. Yes? Yes. I'm seeing a big hot mess, is what I'm saying. I'm really excited that I can have my own solo this week. You guys don't give clout to the pyramid. Don't beat yourself up. I just up, feel right. ashamed and humiliated for my daughter. Kendall deserves to be at the top of that pyramid. She did a great job in the group number this week. She did a lot better than some of the other girls who are ahead of her in the pyramid. She deserves to be at the top. Did you see how everybody was so happy for Mackenzie? And when Kendall does make it, all the kids are going to be happy for her too. But Nia has to be at the top too, and so does Paige. I know. No. I and the best should be at the top. It shouldn't be. Whenever there's Nia or Paige ever, their names are ever mentioned, possibly being elevated up the pyramid, that's when your claws come out. Jill has a tendency to say snide remarks about certain students. Um, usually it's Nia, sometimes it's Paige, and I don't care what Jill says. It is very evident to me that she sees Nia as a weak link. You weren't even here all last week, and you show oh, up. Oh, I, I beg your pardon. I do have a job outside of sitting up here. We know you work hard. Good, thank you. OK, I've said that a million times. I don't know Not why really, you need to. We know you've yourself. said it a million times. You've said a lot a million times. Do you ever shut up? Okay. Ever? All we have to hear about is, I have another child. I can't do the cost. I have a two-year-old. I you know, we all know. Either. We hear it all the time. Shut up, Jill. What's gonna happen once I put out my offer to these girls? Come on in, come on in. If you're a dancer, you guys are here to audition for Team Apple. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I don't feel that our team is lacking. We are definitely going to make ourselves even stronger yet. She walks in the door, and I immediately recognize her. She is one of Abby's dancers. She walks in the door, and I immediately recognize her. She is one of Abby's dancers. When they compete, you'll be able to compete here. We don't know what's gonna happen. You don't even know if she's gonna ask you to stay. After all of Abby's abuse, kicking Peyton off the team and disrespecting me, I wanna show Abby that we can find another studio to compete at. And the fact that there's space available at Kathy's Candy Apples, icing on the cake. I'm excited. You excited? Yeah. I wanna make my mom happy, but I'm not sure how I feel about dancing for the Candy Apples. I know it's up to you, but I really want you to compete, because you know in your heart you really wanna compete. Okay? Okay. All right. Strike your best pose right now. Hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. She had a great face and a great body, and she was just selling herself. I'm definitely going to offer Peyton a spot on the team. What a coup if we can get her, and she's from Abby Lee. Kind of a win-win situation for me. I get to give Abby the old little stab in the back of and I pick up another dancer who's got some fine qualities. Hey, Peyton. Hi. Awesome job today. Thank you. I want to know if you would be interested in being on Team Apples. Um, I would definitely have to think about it. Are you a spy? No, no. So what you want back then? I just miss my friends. Uh, it's a long drive from where I live. It's mind-boggling to me that here's this kid that's got an opportunity to come over to a dance studio that's nothing but positive, and I walk up and I'm like, you know, what the heck? What are you guys doing? Hey. Come on. What are you doing? She's just not 100% ready to just come here and compete. Oh, Peyton. Peyton, you shouldn't have wasted my that's time. That's not today. true. Thank As you a dance educator, Thank you should not be saying it. You should say it was my privilege to teach your daughter something, I I that should not be your answer. If Leslie, you were a positive I, educator, I you should not have taken that route. Leslie, honestly, you are way too much like the Pittsburgh Dance Moms for me. So I loved you. You can't handle me? And thank you. OK, Kathy. I loved you, and thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Kathy. So Candy Apples isn't the place for us. But my daughter is a star. I'm sure of it. And I won't quit until I find a place for her to dance. 
You know, if I have to go crawling back to Abby for Peyton to dance, then so be it. All right, let's grab our stuff and go. All right, do you see yourself getting sloppy at the end? No, Holly. She looks cute in that. Put that away. Chrissy and I always are doing stuff with our costumes, but I'm rather nervous for Melissa and Holly. Yeah, yes. don't show her, because she's going to say I'm going to veto that. Me too. Veto. Honestly, I resent the fact that I have to make Nia's costume. I do not sew. I am not a designer. I did not sign up to make my daughter's costume for dance. And bring your arms up, 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 down, down. I think Chloe's solo this week is going to be a little bit more challenging than the other girls, simply based on the fact that she is doing ballet. And there is a right and there's a wrong. There's no gray area. Okay. My solo this week is called Make Some Noise and it's like a jazzy acrobatic routine, and I really like it. I have a chicken. <laughs> Maybe there's a, a chicken, chicken, a spider. So I far, we're batting a thousand. Hi. Hello, ladies. All right, let me see what you have. Yeah. That looks like somebody else's costume. Good. Yeah, but that doesn't look like an Abby Lee Dance Company costume. It All right, so moving on, chill. I got like sunburst, kind of cheery, little bit. Bright. Sweet little lies. Sweet. Black, Not white, sweet, like an or orange. red. No. Black, red, or pink? Even white. OK. OK. okay. I'm going to make this a sarong, put a rose here and a rose in her hair. You're going to make it into a sarong? Uh-huh. I. Kelly told me how to do it. OK. My tutu is being dyed powder blue. It's home. Procrastination station. Hey, it was wet. Did you want me to bring it in here and ruin your floor? Well, why don't you just take a picture of it and send well, it to me? I can. I'll do okay. it when I get home. And here's the bra that I'm dyeing, the same color. You're putting your child in a bra? Yeah, and it won't look like a bra when I'm done with it, I promise. Christy doesn't really have anything to show me. She has to get her act together and get it real quick. Two options for Paige. I can do this. That's loud. Well, you told me loud. Right. I know. Uh, that's and, right. And booty shorts. And probably have like a if something. She's gonna wear it. shorts that short. The legs better be straight and the feet better be pointed. Brooke, go to Brooke. That'll work. All right, listen, step it up. You do not want to get an hour from New York City where they can get any piece of fabric, any color rhinestone, any applique, any headpiece, you know, like that. This is gonna be really rough. I have seven completely different solos to create plus overseeing the mothers of this costume idea. Oh my gosh, wait. Hold Look on. at this stage. Look how oh, you guys are growing. Isn't that sad? I liked when you was little. <laughs> Hello, Radiance Productions, home of the Abby Lee Dance Company. Hi, trying to get a hold of Abby Lee Miller. This is Abby speaking. Oh, hi there. This is Rich from Dance Explosion. Oh, hi, how are you? Good, good. Good, good. And got a little bit of bad news. I'm sorry to let you know that Dance Explosions has been canceled. Oh, my God. Oh, hi there. This is Rich from Dance Explosions. Oh, hi. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Good, good. Good, good. And got a little bit of bad news. I'm sorry to let you know that Dance Explosions has been canceled. Oh, my God. We're leaving in less than 24 hours. What do you mean the competition is canceled? That's just unheard of. Here you want to see us. Yes, I do. We have a bit of an issue. This guy calls and says, well, I'm calling to let you, from Dance Explosion to let you know that the competition this weekend has been canceled because there's not enough people coming. Hearing that the competition was canceled is awful. I mean, my daughters really want to dance. Mackenzie's finally at the top of the pyramid, and I'm really upset about it. So what are our options? We have six solos. The kids have worked hard, and they're going to do the routine somewhere. Why don't we call around and see if there's another competition that we could go to? We have seven girls with dances and no place to go. And Abby has to find a solution to that situation really fast. Girls, by all means, 
Do not slack off. I don't care if there's one person against you or a thousand people against you. You should go out and do the best performance that you can. Understood? Yes. Yes? OK. Back to class, moms. Back to work. One, two, tip it. Four. Hey, it's Abby Miller. We have a bit of a crisis. Break through. Yeah, she's, uh, she's out. OK. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, cool. Nope. Nope. Right now, I have seven completed solo routines and no competition to go to. So I need to find somewhere for these kids to go. We are going to find something, and we are going to go. Here we go. Now we're talking. Dance Explosion may have let me down, but I'm never going to let those kids down. Ladies, uh, we are going to a competition this weekend. There's a competition in Clute, Texas, just outside of Galveston. I want the girls to practice tonight. Okay. Good. I'm keeping them here until their dances are finished and perfect. The show must go on. Yeehaw! They say don't mess with Texas, but the Abby Lee Dance Company is on its way. Look out, cowboys. Here we come. Oh, I have a Maddie, too. I think that's where we're going to be dancing. The energy's up, we're excited, we're walking into the MA dance competition, and lo and behold, it's on a gymnasium floor. Woo! This just threw us off our game. Here we go, guys. Come on, let's go. Get your stuff set up, Brooke, get your hair up quickly. Okay. Obviously, this is not what I had intended. It's a gymnasium floor, so you can handle it. I'm really nervous to dance on a gymnasium floor because I've never danced on one before, and it's wood, so I'm scared I might slip. I hope you were guiding your mothers when they made these costumes, yes? I hope you weren't sleeping. That costume really has to sparkle because there's not stage lights. You know, there's not lights hitting that costume to make it sparkle. It has to sparkle all on its own. So I'm going to see those before they go out there. Got it? Hope nobody has to dance naked, ladies. Be all about it. That's right. It's like a dream, this moment in time. Now I see a big part of. So much more than I ever was before. Who am I? I see you staring back at me. I don't have to question why. Who am I? Not the slippery gym floor. It feels different. But did she wear it at her other studio? No. You just had that hanging in your closet. Well, maybe it wasn't mine. Maddie, Maddie, maybe it was someone else's that hair. lent it to Maddie. me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Jill, let me see her costume. Okay, okay, this is the white costume. Okay. You did not whip that up last night. Oh, I never said I whipped it up last night. You didn't say go home and whip up. I'm not Becky Homecky. I don't whip up costumes. Where did that costume come from? Because it's obviously not pieces of something you pulled together. I just wanted to this use pieces that you had at home and come up with something at the last minute. This is what I came up with. 
Well, whose is that, may I ask? This is Kendall's costume. You have not seen her in this costume. Somebody somewhere has Kendall's seen her in it. Kendall's costume. It's Kendall's costume now. It's not one of her old costumes. I'm trying to teach the children a lesson. They don't need a $500 costume to win. You have something at home, make it it's work. It's not about winning. It's That's... about what I want to put my daughter in. No, it's about what I want to put your daughter Whipped in. Whipped up Go costume. look at what you have, figure it out, put it on the kid. That That's looks like a wedding gown. That's what I did. Like That's what I did. Brooke went out there in a $30 leotard and, and she danced did great. beautifully. I can't believe you guys wouldn't back me up on this. Because, because we're did. following the rules. You're not. She's I'm going like, out there I'm in the like gymnasium flower. in her costume that I brought for her. You're looking me in the eye. This Has is her costume. Has she ever worn that costume in a competition or a stage or a show or a showcase or a performance or a school gig or anything else? Yes but you haven't seen her in it. None of you have seen her in it. I don't care if somebody else in the world did. What are you doing? I'm gone. I'm leaving. You don't want me here. I'll just make no. it easier for we you. We want you here. We want you to play by the rules. Like, whatever. Jill. Whatever. I'll pack my bags this. and go home right now. Is that, would that make you guys all really happy? No, that would not make me happy. Because that's and what you know I'm doing. Gonna I'm lose? sick of this You're, it's gonna done. be. Done. It's gonna be I'm your done. time that loses out. Good it's your for time. you. Jill's throwing shoes and she's cursing and all I'm thinking is you are so hard to take seriously wearing that hat. Yeah, you know what? You're exactly right. It's supposed to be about the kids. Let her wear the damn costume. Did she ever wear that costume before? Yes, but you haven't seen her in it. None of you have seen her in it. I don't care if somebody else in the world did. Jill, Whatever. The I'll pack I did my bags this. and go home right now. Is that, would that make you guys all really happy? No, that would not make me happy. Because that's and you what know I'm who's doing. Gonna lose? I'm sick of this. It's gonna be. Done. It's gonna be I'm your job that loses out. Good it's your for daughter. you. Yeah, you know what? You're exactly right. It's supposed to be about the kids. Let her wear the damn costume. The mom's assignment was grab a few pieces together, take some shorts and a crop top, trim them up a little bit, and make a costume. She had to go above and beyond and try to outdo everyone. Well, you know what? It backfired on her. Please, do this for Kendall. She's going to be so brokenhearted. I'm not putting her in a piece of costume. Oh, I'm not doing it. And I'm not going to let them and Abby win over this. I'm not going to let them. Don't worry about them, because they did this to me, OK? They don't do that to me anymore. I'm really shocked that Jill flipped out at Abby the way she did, and I'm sure she's going to regret it. I just think that she was at her wit's end, and she doesn't understand the way our studio runs. Where's Abby, girls? Did you see her? Gia, what does she do? Well, she's not dancing, because I'm not putting her in a piece of that Abby wants me to put her in. At this point, I'm done. I'm not going to stick around and let them belittle me and belittle my daughter over a stinking costume. I'm packing my stuff up, and I'm leaving. They won't have to deal with me anymore. Go okay, I love Mom, you, honey. You I love you. Okay, Maddie, go with her. Kendall, okay, come here, she, babe. She can dress. Come on. Get your jacket and your boots. Let's go. Get her, Maddie, help her. She's gonna be okay, why Kendall. Are you make her leave. She's with her friends. Think why? About her friends. Do you really need to ask why? I think you know why. We will go to the auditorium and we will support our friends, like our friends support us. Let's go. We come all this way, and these witches won't get off my back. Kendall's not dancing. End of story. Not having it. No. When you're older, you will understand that you need to stand up for what you think is right. And what they're doing to us right now is not right. I, I know you want to dance, honey. We came all this way for you to dance. I want you to dance, too. But, but it's not, not happening. Let's go. All right, how's everybody doing? Yes? What's behind you? It looks like there's blue sticking out on the sides of you. It's a heating pad. Ow! A heating pad? Abby pushes these girls to be as professional as possible. Sometimes, when you're an athlete, you have to perform even if there's pain. And these girls have to learn how to dance through the pain. It's having that, a lot of back and hip pain. The hip pain may be because you're working really hard in ballet class. You're using muscles that you never used before. You know, you're starting to use the inner thigh instead of grabbing on top. So I'm just trying to keep her not freaking out about it. I told her she yeah. could dance. She can dance through the pain. You know, there's a big difference between being sore and being injured. Injured, you should not dance. Sore, you have to work through the pain. I knew it was coming. You know, as a mom, you just have those moments, and you know something's going to happen. 
during rehearsal, and he is running her dance. When you dive walk over, that right foot has to stay turned out. You can get sick. She got a couple corrections. I got her flustered. She couldn't remember part of her dance, and I could just see something's not right. You'll do well. It's OK. You're going to do fine. Sweetie, you'll be OK. Stay focused. Apply your corrections. You're going to be fine. We're headed to the gymnasium floor. We get to the door, and Nia just has a panic attack. She breaks down. I'm like, oh my goodness. This child is not going to perform today. There's no way I'm going to get her on that stage. What am I going to do? Calm down. Calm down. Nia. Come here. Come here. She is so worked up. And all I could think of was, I have to calm her down. Relax. Relax. This right now, I'm very scared to go on the gymnasium floor because it's slippery and I don't want to fall. Hey, calm yourself down. It's going to be OK. I'm going to go to the door so I can hurry up and get in, OK? She was so overwhelmed by the prospect of performing, she had shut down. She's flipping out. She has like a panic attack. Is she OK? Not really. So no crap in her Nia. She's having a panic attack for whatever reason. Please welcome to the floor from Abby Lee Dance Company, Nia. I'm gonna survive. looks good out there. I'm looking at her, and I'm speechless. I can't believe she's pulling this off. You can be high. I'm gonna survive. Yeah, I'm gonna it was really hard to go out and dance, but I'm glad I pushed myself. It was just amazing. I want to dance. I know you want to dance. I want you to dance. Ooh, am I dancing all right? No, because they won't let you wear what I brought for you to wear. I was absolutely appalled that Kendall was sitting in the audience behind me with her mother while other solos were dancing. She should have been on deck, warming up, ready to go. <laughs> We're sitting in the stands, supporting the other children. Abby turns to me and she says, go put Kendall in the white booty shorts. Where's the white shorts at the time? And she's allowed to use it? I told her she could. Absolutely. Go, go. So I make a rash decision to let Kendall wear the white booty shorts and the underwear on stage. Do a front aerial, honey, right here. Please, you need to stay stretched. From Abby Lee Dance, welcome Miss Kendall. dancing and I don't care what the costume looks like. Kendall did a great job in simple white booty shorts and a crop top. Jill is a drama queen. I don't think I can take it anymore. Please welcome to the floor, Chloe. Chloe 
Chloe looks beautiful, and her costume looks professionally made, if I do say so myself. Great job. And from Abby Lee, this is Maddie. Here we go. When I saw this gentleman carrying my daughter off, my heart sunk to my stomach. I gotta go, I gotta go, excuse me. And I jumped off the bleachers and I ran to her right away and I thought she broke a bone. No, no don't say that. Come here. It's okay, honey, it was beautiful. Oh, Maddie, oh. I thought you were supposed to do that. No. I couldn't really move my leg, it hurt so bad. I was nervous that if I couldn't dance ever again. I'd be mad. Maddie was so worried that Abby's gonna be mad at her because she did so poorly in her dance, which she didn't. She said, I dance terrible. I fell on my hip. I fell on your hand. Yes. Where did that come Right here. Right here. Oh, baby. I was gonna do a diving girl walk away, and then I went for it, and uh, then it was over. Okay, it's okay, honey. Hey, it's okay. She said, Miss Abby's gonna be mad at me. I'm not gonna be mad at you, sweetie, but you started to dive. She was I gonna dive. I, it was too slippery, like... I, I know, and you started to dive, and then in the middle, you second-guess yourself when you went there. You over, but you did a front toss. Abby came in, and she felt so bad for Maddie. Any blood? No, not even a bruise. Okay, good. We'll get up and walk around in just a minute. Okay. Good. See, if you had a big butt and you landed on it, it wouldn't hurt. Like me. <laughs> Dancers fall and dancers get hurt. This may have been Maddie's first fall, but it certainly won't be her last. Sometimes your ego hurts more than your injury. Oh, look at how sweet. Miss Abby's care, let me get the door. If any other girl fell, they would not be getting the same reaction. From Abby. Hey, can you get your hair done, please? My kid, it would have been like, oh my God, you embarrassed me. I haven't had a kid do this in 50 years. We should have Brooke from Kingwood Strutters, but at this time, please welcome to the floor Paige from Abby Lee Dance Company. Are you ready? Stand up, here come your boys with their weapons of choice. Here they come to the do her solo, and I'm just amazed. Paige rocked that dance.
saw you dance. Hello. Hello. Woohoo! Yay! Good job, Paige. How do you think you did? Good. I thought you were great. I thought your energy was up. I thought you were entertaining. I thought it was good. I thought everybody danced pretty well. And now, our Junior Solo Awards. In third place, from Abby Lee Dance Company, Brooke. <laughs> In second place, also from Abby Lee Dance Company, Chloe. Chloe was the first runner up, and right then I knew that Paige won. And our junior champion from the Abby Lee Dance Company, Paige. I'm really happy that I won because normally Miss Abby doesn't give me a chance to do a solo because she doesn't think I'll win. But this time, I proved her wrong. My angel! Mommy is so proud of you. I told you you couldn't have danced any better. So I'm hoping next week at Pyramid, it'll be a little change. Paige got a banner! I don't have much practice at this, huh? Just a change. You might be at the top of the pyramid! Hello! Congratulations! Woo I may give all the girls a hard time. I yell at Brooke and Paige like they're my own kids. But I'm really glad that Paige had a shining moment and came out on top. Girls, you pulled through. Now, everybody here at m a knows who Abby Lee Dance Company is. They didn't even know who I was before. Now, because of your talents and your mother's costuming, they all know who I am, and they respect me, and they were telling me how wonderful you were all behaved, how nice you were, and what good kids, and what nice moms you had. <laughs> that every single dancer got a perfect score on their costumes. No! Oh, yay, mommy! We all did? Yep. Every single one of you. <laughs> all in all, this was a pretty successful trip. We came, we saw, we kicked some Texas butt. There's just one more piece of business I need to take care of. I am not going to walk out of here letting Jill think her behavior was okay. No way. Jill has a choice to make. Either she stays and plays by the Abby Lee Dance Company rules, or she hits the road and finds another studio. Jill, I don't want any more outbursts like today. You have a big decision to make. Don't take it lightly. Take it very seriously. Will Kendall continue to dance? Will you play on our team? Are you going to do what I say, when I say it, or not? Well, that's something Kendall and I will discuss. That was defining, because right then and there, I realized that I don't really have control of what you do on stage and what you wear. Abby does. I was ready to, to walk away and be gone with Dance Moms. So why did you stay? I stayed because of the opportunities. I don't want to blow this opportunity for Kendall over a stupid costume. So I had to swallow my pride. If you remember, she did not let you go on stage in that gorgeous, gorgeous costume. You had to wear a pair of underpants and a bra top. What was the hardest part about season two as the new members of the team? I think the hardest part about season two was pleasing Abby, because that was really my first time doing all of that traveling and dancing. You had something to prove. You had something to, to show for yourself. Our dreams had come true when we officially made the team, and Kendall auditioned, and Abby picked her. But then we had to cut it short. Kendall, you are back on probation. Ridiculous, Abby. What more do you want from her? Your head is distended. Your shoulders are hunched. Your rib cage is open. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me, right? No. She doesn't make the corrections. I can't even believe it. You know what? You should be on probation, not my daughter. I don't even know why I'm here. You had nothing nice to say to her, 
since the second we got here. You know what, Abby? She does a lot right. There's a lot of studios out there who would love what she does right. And you know what, Abby? We are going to one of those studios. I'm not putting up with this crap anymore. We're done. That's it. You know what, honey? She doesn't appreciate you. I'll take you where someone appreciates you. It's over. Yeah, yeah, we had to go. It was time to go. Here's this eight-year-old, beautiful, little, talented girl. I couldn't let Abby push her aside and not notice her talents. It was important for me to get Kendall what she needed. And if Abby wasn't gonna give it to her, I would find somebody else who would. Really, Abby gave us no choice. She gave me no choice but to leave. Let's go, girls! Get in here, shake the lead out! Okay, now, Hollywood vibe, last week. You did an okay job. I thought it could have been better. Moving on. This week, we are going to Fire and Ice right here in Pittsburgh. Yay! And I have a reputation to uphold. It's much more difficult to walk in and compete against people you know than a bunch of strangers. Okay, let's get to the pyramid. I hate to do this, but... Kendall, you are back on probation. That's ridiculous, Abby. What more do you want from her? Your head is distended. Your shoulders are hunched. Your rib cage is open. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me, right? No. She doesn't make the corrections. I have been telling her since the audition about her posture, and it has not improved once. Jill, careful what you wish for. You're always demanding more special parts and attention for Kendall. Well, you're back on probation, so you got it. I can't even believe it. You know what? You should be on probation, not my daughter. Kendall is on the bottom of the pyramid. Unfortunately, I don't have a picture of Jill. If I would, she would be the one that's there. Learn something, Jill. You are on my last nerve. I don't even know why I'm here. You had nothing nice to say to her since the second we got here. You know what, Abby? She does a lot right. She turns like a top. But that's what's good. I don't need to fix that. I was not surprised in the least by Jill's reaction. I was devastated by Kendall's reaction. I certainly don't wake up in the morning to intentionally hurt a child's feelings. There's a lot of studios out there who would love what she does right. And you know what, Abby? I hear that. We are going to one of those studios. I'm not putting up with this crap anymore. We're done. That's it. You know what, honey? She doesn't appreciate you. I'll take you where someone appreciates you. It makes me sick to think that Abby would do this to a little girl who is working so hard. We'll go where they will treat you with respect. They'll give you great numbers. They might even let you do a solo or two. This is disgusting to me, and I'm not putting up with it anymore. It's over. I don't want to go. I love to dance. Next, Paige. You were on the top, now you're obviously not. You couldn't remember the trio. Over and over. No, this is true. Unacceptable. Next, Brooke. Brooke, this whiny, mopey teenager crap has to stop. You are the role model. Do me a favor, just smile. Mackenzie, the tricks are stronger, they're better, but you need a few ballet classes. Next we have Chloe. Once again, nice clean performance. Maddie, you redeemed yourself, no stupid mistakes. Maddie and Chloe, you know, neck and neck, same old story, different day. And, deservedly so, for the first time, Nia is on top of the pyramid. It's been a long time coming. I didn't think I would ever live to see this day. You were on top of this pyramid because of your hard work and your determination. 
all week long. To me, that's sometimes more important than any trophy. And you shined. Your mother isn't always here, but she does make sure that you're here. And you can see the improvement. I'm very happy I'm on the top of the pyramid this week. <laughs> Yay. This week, you're going to be doing a solo. Holly, she's going to perform, act, and look like a princess. Like I tell everybody else, it's tough getting here. It's even more difficult to stay here. Moving on to the group number. We are going to do a dance. It's called Head Over Heels. It's about falling in love and getting married. As an artist, I draw my inspiration from the world around me. And I think that Melissa has a little secret. So hopefully, once she sees this number, she's gonna realize that everybody knows her secret. Yes? Aren't I too young to get married? <laughs> <laughs> I just got engaged, but I like to keep my private life private. You're gonna be dressed as brides. So, I want your dads to be at the competition as if they were giving their daughters away. All right, you're dismissed. Thank you very much. Girls, an outside triple ballet pirouette. That's what I want to see. It's in the number. Five, six, seven. Freaking can't believe what just happened with Jill. I think Jill's going back to her old studio. No. Yeah. So oh, I do too. And I also think that she's going to go back there and she's going to kind of dish the dirt. And I think that we're going to run into them. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if we run into them soon. I feel horrible for Jill. It's hard being a dance mom and making these tough decisions. I hope she comes back. I'm not all that shocked. Jill didn't really bond with us. Kendall, I thought, fit the group very well. And yes. I thought Kendall is a good little dancer. I think she held her I think, yeah, I think, I she think, she think that Jill's going to regret walking out of there. It was like a spur of the moment. Like, I'm pissed yeah. off. Well, she I'm can't leaving. come back now after that. Well, I'm kind of disappointed she didn't get a chance to see me at the top of the pyramid after she talked about it. I know. I'm really kind of disappointed Dude. about that if she kept saying that she'd never pretty much amount to that. Open, big reach, big reach, and in. Step, jump, slide. This week, I'm doing a solo called I'll Do Anything For You. It's an acro routine, and that's one of my strongest styles of dance and I'm just really excited. If I were Magellan, Push. I would sail straight up to heaven and find you. It's true. So excited about Nia. Did you see the girls? They were oh. yeah. As soon as she wasn't on the last row. I know. Not even she's at the top of the pyramid. You know what I was excited for? The kids are doing an epic dance. Like, <laughs> oh, that's right. Exactly. Exactly. Dance. Nia, listen, you've worked hard. You've worked hard in ballet class. You've waited a long time for this pretty dance with me. And I'll tell you what, don't screw it up, kid. Melissa, you have to be upset. You're, I mean, you were friends, you are mm -hmm. friends with Jill. Mm -hmm. And you guys were like buddies. I am upset. I mean, I, you know, I just think it's the wrong decision. And I, don't I think know how she's you make probably, a snap decision like that. I think she'll be back. Jill didn't mean it. She doesn't want to leave. She'll be back. I'm going to try to call Jill, see. Yeah, poor Kendall was upset. Yeah. She was, she you was know, upset. She was crying. I hate to see a kid cry. <gasps> oh, my God. She sent me a text. What'd she say? <sighs> Kendall and I deserve better. I'm not coming back. Sorry to leave you to the wolves. I just don't want this for Kay. I'm going back to my old studio where they like Kendall. No, she didn't say that. I told you she was going back there. It didn't take her long to make that decision. No. I'm, that she... was fast. Uh, hello, let's call a spade a spade. She's a studio hopper, so it's time to hop back to the old one. You know what, frankly, I don't want somebody like that around us and our kids. So I say good riddance. Listen, Kendall, I'm not putting up with this crap anymore. I can't have you at a place that doesn't appreciate you and all they do is tear you down. That probation is ridiculous. You did nothing wrong. It was my fault she should put me on probation, not you. We're done at Abby's. I'm taking you somewhere where they are going to appreciate you. Hello? This is Jill Vertez from Abby's. Uh-huh. I'm fed up with Abby. I can't go back there. 
and I really need a dance studio where they're gonna train my child. I was wondering if you could take a look at Kendall and tell me what you think of her talents and if you could find a place for her on your team. If you want to come to Candy Apples, then I am here for you, but I need to be 100% sure that all of your ties are severed from Abby Lee Dance Company. Up. Hip down, hip down. Five, four, come on, straight that knee. Three, two, one, and finish. Other side. I heard about the engagement. So, are you going to be in the wedding? Do you think I'm going to be in the wedding? My mom is engaged, but she wants to keep it quiet. Chloe, work on your solo. <laughs> Maddie, same thing, work on your solo. Think about the corrections. You should. Work on your pirouettes and your rubber stage turns. Okie doke. All right. Let's everybody get to where we need to be. Can't believe you're not more excited about the wedding. What do you think of the ring? Beautiful. I love the story. No, story? don't say it. What story? Nothing. They weren't even supposed to talk about Wait a minute. What story? Nothing. Come here. Mackenzie, shh, tell me the story. Come here. I don't know what story. You lie. We're not supposed to tell Abby anything. She's a blabbermouth. What? No, seriously, I don't know the story. You don't know the story? What's Chloe? She's a weirdo. What's she making up? I don't know what story they're talking tell me about. Tell story. Kids, come on. Come on. Tell, tell Chloe I want the story. Come here. Um, Send Chloe hey, Chloe, out. Abby wants the story. No, don't. Oh, I like that one. I, I like this one. So the moms and I went to Babette's bridal shop so we could get some inspiration for this bridal dance that we're doing. Are we doing long veils for the girls or short veils? No, no. mm -hmm. I want somebody to try this one on. Like, and we got awfully sidetracked. <laughs> that is a poofy, poofy dress. Oh, is that a wedding dress? I'm assuming. I want to wear it. No. Julie, I want to wear it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I remember going shopping for my wedding dress with my mom and my we sister. Did. It was me, my mom, my sister, and my grandmother. And the first dress I came out in. That was that it? I bought it. That's well, it. First my vows. If I got married again, I wouldn't be wearing a big wedding gown. No, you wouldn't do that? Nope. Oh, no, somebody tried that one on. I like that one over there. I used to get excited when I looked at wedding dresses. I really don't anymore. Why are you lying? We all know you're engaged, so why won't you just admit it? You want to go in first? No. Oh. Welcome to my world, no panties. <laughs> You're a bride! Oh, oh. That one! <laughs> I can't believe I've been on a wedding dress. Me neither! I came here for headpieces. You look skinny. You look really skinny in that. It's because it hides your butt. <laughs> Sorry. She wants to get married again, and she wants a big rock. That's right. Maybe you, you should renew your vowels. Vowels. <laughs> I think you need to say, will you marry me again? Yeah, but Melissa, you're the one who has a chance of getting married again, not me. I'm not wearing a wedding dress. <laughs> oh, that's I don't so know. Sweet. I think if I was getting married again, I'd have to have the bird thing. I like the bird face. cage, too. You have to hide your wrinkles? <gasps> no, she did <laughs> <laughs> Join the Candy Apples. I haven't really seen their studio, but I want to dance at a place where they actually respect me and they like me as a dancer. Hi! Hey. Welcome! Well, thank you. When Jill called and wanted to bring Kendall over to the dance studio, I was thrilled. I mean, why wouldn't I be? It's a win win situation. You're not nervous, are you? No. Okay, good. Well, maybe a little, but that's okay. That's don't normal. be nervous. It, it, don't be nervous. nervous. That. You don't have to be nervous. So come on, let's All go. Right. Great. They actually have an acro class right here. Should we take our shoes off? In our in our studio? Oh, honey, we have a cleaning lady that cleans okay, the floor so every night. Okay. You don't need to worry about it. All right. No screaming and yelling about that here. May we I have come? The, the cleaning lady comes every night. All right. Kendall misses her friends back at Abby's. I had to explain to her why this was a good decision to bring her out here, because Kathy is going to give her what she needs and what she wants 
to be a good dancer. Looking to join No, I need join a studio. A I need a group of kids she can dance with. I, oh, okay. I need... So you're coming here under the assumption that you you might want to just go ahead and join with us. Absolutely. And become an apple. I need, I need fun, a studio. Kathy takes a look at Kendall. She sees her potential right away. Okay. She sees what this little girl can do, what she can bring to a solo or a group number. This is great. This is exactly what I needed. A little something that we're doing this weekend, and I don't want to put any pressure on you whatsoever. I have an adorable little solo that I think would be very fitting for her. And the funny thing about it is, dare I say, we're going to go to Pittsburgh. This week's fire and ice competition just got a little bit more interesting. That'll give you an opportunity to just join in and be with us, even though you won't be in a group number. Kathy gives Kendall a solo right off the bat. This was Kathy's way of telling me that she appreciates me and my daughter, she has respect for us, and she knows that Kendall's a good dancer. This is good. something there. Come on, girls. We do a lot of contemporary and lyrical in competitions because that's, like, the biggest fad right now. But it's nice to also do some novelty numbers. And Head Over Heels is a novelty routine. Right. Oh, that's good. I'm just practicing. Hello. I know. Hello. Hello. Hey, what did you up to? What's on Mackenzie's top? Are those bats? They're puppies. They look like bats from here. Don't cross your fingers. Oh, those hands. Who's your manicurist? She should be out of work. Girls, three more days. We need to get this choreography fixed. Got it? Fire and ice. Three more days. Go back to the top. Let's do it. Here's a story and a theme. The girls are brides. They hold nosegays. They might even wear garters. One, two, up, up, down, down, jump over, don't catch feet, push. I'm inviting the dads to come and watch the competition. It's as though they're giving away their daughters, but instead of giving them to some guy that's never going to be good enough, he's going to give them to the world of dance. I want to marry dance, but I don't. <laughs> if I had to marry someone, I would marry Justin Bieber. Girls, remember, your dads are coming to the competition. They complain about all the money you spend, all the hours you spend here at the studio, all the outfits, all the rhinestones. Your dad's gonna sit in that audience and watch you. You want him to say, oh my God, look at my kid up there. It's all worth it. It's all worth it to see her up on that stage. Look what she's accomplished. Look how good she is. I really hope that Chloe's dad can make it, but I think the bigger question on everyone's mind is who is Melissa gonna bring to represent? Is she gonna bring the dad? Or the sugar dad, D. Their dad's not coming. Really? He's not going to be here, so. Kurt's not coming at all? Mm-mm. This is the one time the dads are asked to come and participate with their girls. And Melissa can't put the drama aside. It always has to be about her. Did you not want him to come? No, he's not coming, because he's going to be at a hockey tournament. OK. Will Greg come? Mm -hmm. No. No way. If Kurt can't come, why let you just bring I her? wouldn't want to hurt Kurt's Kurt. feelings, you know? But Mark's if he coming. couldn't be there, would he? Would his feelings be hurt? If he knew that Greg did it, yes. Well, I, I don't know why you wouldn't bring Greg. I, I mean, I they live know. with Greg, I Melissa. Know. I mean, I would love for him to be there, but absolutely not. I don't know why Melissa goes crazy every time she hears Kurt's name. I mean, he is still Maddie and Mackenzie's dad. So they still need to have some kind of relationship just for the girls. I can't wait to see how our headpieces are all going to look. Oh, I have something that I'm going to bring to you tomorrow. Um, I think I have a white thing you might want to use. I don't know. OK. Oh, it would have been so cool if I had my gown. You guys could have, we could have cut it up because it has so many beautiful pieces to it. But you should have saved it. Your kids probably would have wanted it. Even if they didn't wear it, they just for a keepsake. Right. Well, they can help you pick out a new dress. There won't be any new dresses. Hi. Thank you so much. I'm Jill. 
Hi, it's so nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you. I'm a little nervous walking in here, and I meet the moms, and they all welcome me with open arms. They're so nice. They're so polite. Kendall, okay, have fun. Okay. All right. It's just been a battlefield at that studio. It's a different beast over there. Beast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some sparkling apple cider. This is so different from the battlefield the first day I walked into Abby's. Cheers. Cheers to you. These guys actually want me to be there. And they're really welcoming. This is really nice to be on the other end of receiving. Apple toast. Thank apple you toast. for welcoming me. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, girls. Thank Cheers. you. So why don't we start in the corner? Um, let's put your hands behind your back. And let's just do two walks. One, two, three for them. Kendall just wants to dance. She was not doing that enough at Abby's. Pirouette up and over. Pirouette. Now she's dancing. Your second leg is bent. Can you straighten it out for me? And straighten. Oh, yeah. See how when you give nice corrections, you get results. I like you. So. Does Abby and the moms know you came here? They have no idea. And guess what? I don't care. I know that when she finds out, she's going to be probably more angry than hurt. And maybe she'll feel the anger that I felt when she belittled my child in front of everybody. Karma. For no reason. Do you happen to know who's at the top of the pyramid? I think it's Nia. Oh, it's Nia that's at, really? Well, if Nia is at the top of the pyramid, you know what that means. She is probably going to be doing a solo. That means that you and her are going to be going head to head. OK. OK? Kendall is really going to kick butt. And Abby, she's going to miss Kendall being part of her competition team. So um, are you going to feel badly if you go head to head against Nia? Yeah, I guess. I'm really doing this for Kendall. And if this is the only way I can get Abby to see what Kendall can do, then this is what it's got to be. Neil, this is it. I don't want to see any mistakes in the summer. Go. Chasse, me, me. A lot is riding on this solo for Nia. It's an important solo for her, and she needs to get her act together. I'm a little confused. Is Melissa engaged? Oh, uh, she has a ring on. Exactly. But today and yesterday she didn't. I hope that's not a friendship ring. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's, a, that's a nice friend. Yeah. I want to meet a friend like that. <laughs> have a friend. Uh, he needs to buy me another one of those. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're other handsome all the way. I want to have another friend. <laughs> Melissa has a big rock on her finger. And I don't know why she's being so secretive about it. It's like, I mean, every time I ask her about it, she's just like, oh, it's no big deal. Hand, hand. Don't go so far. It's awkward. And then this weekend, you know, the dads are invited, and she's wearing another man's engagement ring. Yeah, I wonder if Kurt knows. Uh, and I thought maybe that's she why didn't the tell ring us, keeps coming on. And I can't off. imagine her exactly. Kurt telling Kurt. These people are all going to have to come to terms with things because there's two little girls involved, exactly. and they're going to exactly. have a long time growing up if they don't exactly. get along. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She's so forthcoming. I'm so tell you well, everything about her body, nooks, crevices, desires, <laughs> taboos, <laughs> all of that. Fair oh, game. Time. She told me that she thinks of sex and throbs. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> I mean, I know that she's plainly shaved down there, but she won't tell me she's engaged. Hello? That's a little too personal. <laughs> a little too personal, Kelly. Like you're crossing the line. <laughs> competition because it's here in Pittsburgh. So it's always nice when we get to stay home. I have more time with Broadway Baby, and they are always thrilled to see the Abby Lee Dance Company. Hey. Hello. I mean, come on. It's the Abby Lee Dance Company. I'm not excited about competing in Pittsburgh because everybody knows Abby. Everybody hates Abby. Girls, I need not say how important it is here. Yes? We all know what's on the line. It's fire and ice. Every one of those people are my friends. I've known them for years. But even though you're friends, they're still competitive, like your girlfriend at school. We 
We've just arrived at the fire and ice competition, and Abby and all of those moms aren't going to know what hit them when they see my secret little weapon. I'm a little nervous walking into this competition with candy apples. I'm gonna be the one looking over my shoulder. I'm afraid Christy and Kelly might come after me with a shotgun. You know what I wanna see with you? Um, I wanna take a look at your solo since it's new. My goal here is to have Kendall stand out. Do I think I'm gonna get Abby's attention? Yes. I'm gonna do a little more liner and a little more on her cheeks. Okay, and you know what? We do little wings. Could you please do Absolutely. that? Do you have any loose rhinestones? We do little rhinestones at the eye just to add a little glimmer. I know I'm gonna see Abby, and I just wanna say to her, do you see what you made me do? Oh, you don't have eyeshadow on, Jill? Yeah. Okay, purple. We do purple. Purple shadow? For real? Yeah. This candy apple green room is a lot different than the one at Abby's. Close. Are you dawdling? Uh, well, I... I was contemplating purple with her orange costume, but oh. I trust you. Close. Mm. Oh, well. We'll see what happens. There's no screaming or yelling or crying. I don't have to, like, be looking over my shoulder, feeling the knife in my back at any second. I can relax and take care of my child. Stand up tall, honey. Kendall. Walk in there like you own that place. Yeah, that's right, and you need to just be, because you're so relieved and you're so happy right now, because you don't have a whole lot of crappy pressures on you. Let's go. to see Kendall and Jill with candy apples. I mean, I kind of wanted to cry because it didn't like seem right, but I think she fits better with us. All right, well, we have a solo that we have to go perform. All of a sudden, it hits me. That's Nia's competition. I felt like I had been punched in the stomach. Oh, let's go. Kendall, let's go this way. Excuse me. Anybody else shocked? I can't say I'm really all that shocked that Jill's with candy apples. I mean, it was only a matter of time before she pop, 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 over to somewhere I, new. I think she's but, pretty desperate to go to candy apples. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I wouldn't yeah. think that that's where she would go. I would think she would move further, like, towards New York. I'm feeling pretty betrayed to see someone who I thought was on my team walk through the door on the competition team. I didn't know it's going to be a problem. Guess who she's going to be up against? Yeah. I mean, I bet she's going to do a solo. I feel like... Jill has become the ultimate traitor. To put her daughter up to dance against a teammate, she was a teammate of ours. Who does that? Well, I hope Nia has a great time. She did too. On stage, that's the most important thing. That's all thing. that matters. That's all that matters. At this point, that's all we have to keep telling our kids. It's all about having fun. We're oh, going to yeah. kill everybody. I don't know how much fun it is to compete against someone who's your former teammate. Yeah, that's hard. Oh, yeah. We're funny the dads have gotten here. Maybe Greg will surprise you. Maybe. It's yeah. gonna happen. <laughs> I think this meeting is adjourned. Okay. <laughs> So I just wanted to tell you that, you know, I was really reluctant when you called because um, I don't like to uh, engage in Abby's sloppy seconds. I hope you're feeling welcome. I oh, am. Yeah. Everybody's Good. been really nice. Thank you. Hi, Kendall. You're dancing with candy apples? Yeah. I was really excited to perform my solo because I just wanted to see Abby's face. You have a solo too? Yes. I like your crown. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a princess. Good luck. You too. I'm a little nervous to have a solo against Kendall, but I'm going to try very, very hard to make it my best. Please welcome to the stage participant number 20. This is Nia performing to I'll Do Anything For You. I will 
Magellan, I would sail straight up to heaven and find you. It's true. If I were John Lennon, I would ask the world to imagine loving you. If I could for you. Watching Nia on stage was an incredible experience for me. I am not a person who cries easily. I'm not one who gets very emotional, but she looked like a princess. She looked beautiful. She looked happy. She owned that stage, and she was dancing with such joy and passion and energy. It was her moment, and I knew what it took for her to get to that place. I was just so proud of her. And when the stars come by the cross, red velvet sky, I'll catch them all and bring them home for you. I do anything for you. I think Nia did everything right on the money. She just needs to work on her technique, straightening her legs, stretching her feet. Abby just couldn't see her potential, her talent. All she did was pick out her flaws. Kendall has a solo coming up. She's against Nia in the same age category. You know, Kathy didn't have to put Kendall up against Nia. Kathy knows that Nia deserves a chance to shine. And that was just a really rotten, shady thing to do. Judges, our next competitor comes to us from Candy Apples Dance Center. This is Kendall performing to I Think I Like You. is certainly dynamic because she's doing my routine with my costume and the kids only been gone from my studio for a week what did kathy teach her nothing kathy is a worm danced well. I knew it watching her from my seat. Kendall danced well. I hope that the judges see what I saw in Nia. You did good, Nia. I know. You did so good, Nia. Like, ten like, times better than ten. I can even tell you. Your face was just like you I know. You dance. looked like you were having just the time of your life. Are you able to come? I can't. I have a meeting. I can't get it. Oh. OK. Well, Chloe understands. My dad can't come to the competition today, but that's OK, because I know he, he tried his hardest to get here. Hi, Chloe. How are you? Good. I love you. I love you, too. And I'll just tell him when I get home all about it. Oh, my goodness! All the single girls! I'm really excited because the wedding costume is my favorite costume of the year so far. It's gorgeous and I'm excited because I just got engaged, so it's kind of fun for me. I wanted to catch the flowers, but the other girls did before I could. Your makeup. Don't clean the towel. You're making me. Okay, let's not talk to her, please, please. I don't want to. We're going, ready to go on stage. Just leave her alone. Does it doesn't matter about the dance. I it do. It matters about me. It does matter about you. <laughs> My emotional. You're so Stop cute. It, Mom. You're so cute, honey. Stop. Hey, don't cry. All right, it's time. Don't forget your dads are out there. From the Abby Lee Dance Company. 
Please welcome to the stage number 201 junior group. This is Head Over Heels. because he could watch me dance. Candy Apples Dance Center, please welcome number 287. This is a funeral. Kathy actually may have some good dancers at her studio. The problem is, is they're just old. Kathy needs to put Vivi and her two little friends in there to bring the age down. And who runs into a funeral and doesn't air a mask? Vivian. In our junior small groups, we have a first place overall award, and that is going to number 288, head over here. The girls actually got a platinum in their performance, and they won the overall high score for the junior groups. For your first place overall junior soloist, number 21, I Think I Like You. My child was set up. It was like I had been blindsided, and I'm not sure what game is being played between Jill, Candy Apples, Kathy, and Abby, for that matter. But my daughter's not a pawn in this whole game. This is real for her. And I felt like she was a pawn in their bigger game that they were playing at my daughter's expense. Where's Mia? Mia, what's up? Mia, what's wrong? I did really want to win because my dad was there. But it will come again. You? could not have been more beautiful. You should be proud of yourself. You did the number. You finished it. Hold your chin up high. You have nothing to be embarrassed about. Not at all, sweetie. Not at all. People don't cry crying. Why are we crying and pouting? And I see one kid in tears, one kid pouting, and one kid sitting on their dad's lap. Don't carry it into the dressing room. You go home, you cry into your pillow, you figure out what you did wrong, and you don't make the same mistakes again. Jill, we would like to present you with a Candy Apples Dance Mom jacket. So this is for you. And, you know, we want you to have this. I feel great that there's no such thing as probation at Candy Apples. I don't have that hanging over my head. And you know what? Kendall feels great, too, because she can go out and dance and do her thing and not be afraid to do great. Where are you leaving? I need a break. What, what just happened out there? You know I was wrong. She did a beautiful job. She did. And a child who has been off. This kid has been working mm -hmm. her tail off yeah. late I at night. I think it is not, it's not a reflection of her job. Outstanding. No. Right. I just do not like the way that played itself out. Mm -hmm. It's tough enough having to deal with Abby, but I've learned over the years how to handle her. 
but when it comes to my daughter's happiness, I don't want to have to go up against Jill and Kathy, too. Oh, Get God, mad. here they come. Here they come. come on, Kathy, you have parting words? We may be number two, and we may be trying harder, but Abby, there will come a day when we beat you because you have six kids that you have to worry about. I have 306. Kathy, how do you still have that membership when you solicit students? Um, I'm not soliciting anybody, Abby. She came to me at her own free will. She called me up and said that you were a witch. Kathy makes my blood boil. She went as Candy Apples Dance Center today, so that was a win for Candy Apples. I don't care. The dance world doesn't have rules. So Kathy can poach any student that she wants, but Jill made a big, big mistake. Big. Yes, I think there's I some other it. studios in Ohio that got in big trouble for stealing choreography. Oh, uh, believe me, Abby, I wouldn't want to steal your choreography. Really. Let's go, guys. Talk to me about season four. What was season four all about? Season four was all about rivalry. That's when the Chloe and Kendall rivalry started. I know kids at other studios are my competitors, but I didn't realize that my own teammates could be one of my biggest arch rivals. Kendall, Chloe, we're gonna see who my number two girl is. I know who my number one girl is. This is Kendall's chance to climb up the ranks and take that number two spot from Chloe. I'm looking at the program, and it says that Kendall is scheduled to go last. Christy looks over at me and says, Chloe's going last. So I don't know what's going on backstage. All I know is that Kendall needs to get on that stage and bring it. You came out and looked stunning gorgeous, and then choked on that first turn, fell backwards out of it. You watched her from the wings below the first turn, and then you played it safe. Had she gone out there and nailed that turn, you would have been a mess going out there after her. Got it? So wait, let me ask this question. How did Chloe go on after Kendall? I don't know, Jill. It's not fair, and you would be pissed if it were the other way around, and you know it. You say that, like, everybody, like, no, no, I special little things. They do. Okay. They do. You know, turn it around no, and make it my fault that you if asked you for recall, special treatment if you for your daughter. Recall, I didn't ask. You my were right there asked. when she asked. You should say, Chloe, go when you're supposed to. Okay. Abby will be mad. You didn't I didn't tell me. Hide it. Okay, you I just didn't, didn't tell, tell me. You. Okay. Christy is like turning it around. Don't make it my kid's fault. Well, it was her fault. Well, it was first, and she was like, well, no. well, I forget my solo, so can I just go last? And I was supposed to go last, so she made me go first. She went Not, up and asked uh, one of the producers. There is an advantage to your child being at the end can, of the category the or the The judges remember you the most, and you can watch your competition. You can see who's good, who messed up, who fell, who nailed it, and then you can say, oh, well, I need to do this better, and Chloe took that from me. It was a sneaky move, and Christy knows, knows it. it. Bottom line, friends don't do that to friends. Boozy on in here, kind of like you walked out on stage. One day, national champions. The next day, third place. Last week was a disaster. In third place in our preteen group division, girls, night out! I told everyone last week that I was thinking of replacing some members on this team. And after that third place victory, I might just have to replace the whole team. We cannot walk in there again mediocre. We've got a big competition this week. Those girls are not going to go out on that stage and embarrass me. It's first place or nothing this week. All right. We will be attending the Believe Talent Competition in Columbus, Ohio. Now. You know who's going to be in Ohio. Kathy, no one wants you here. Shut your mouth. Shut your Woo! mouth. Don't say Kathy, anything about my child. Oh, goody. We're going to see Kathy this weekend, and that just means that Abby's level of crazy is going to go from here to here. And now that Abby's having these whole open calls, that means if our kids lose to candy apples, they're next on the chopping block for Abby to replace them. I bet Kathy's team is a better team. 
I'm sure she's been working on this number for weeks. And if you guys go out and dance like you did last weekend, she's going to win. I'm not so sure we're ready to take on Kathy's team. I am not as confident as I should be. Let's just say that. All right, let's get started with the pyramid. Of course, Peyton, for your behavior to be so ugly over your hair. You can't put it right there. Love it. Why? It doesn't go in. It's gonna have to go in, honey. If you let me hurt you, it'll go in. I don't care if you're happy or sad or you're in pain. I don't care. You go to that competition and you are representing me. Peyton isn't safe on this team. I need her to be a role model for the other girls, not a liability. And next, Brooke. You missed a whole four counts on the floor. You just rolled over right in front of the judges. And next, Nia. Good week, beautiful costume, pretty girl, did a nice job. But do you perform the choreography? Do you go out on stage like it's the last time you're ever gonna be on stage? No, I don't think so. Mackenzie, lots of fooling around in the dressing room, in everybody's way. We need to work on that. Understand? Yeah. Next, I have Paige. Paige, you are part of the high score winning trio. Could you have done a better job? Certainly. Next. We have Kendall. It was good. Same thing as Paige. Could have been better. Could have been outstanding. And next, we have Chloe. Chloe, you have the dancer's body. You have the look. Your technique shines through. You can nail it no matter what. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at Chloe's spot in the pyramid. I mean, last week she was at the very bottom, and this week she's number two? That's not a bad week. And on top of the pyramid, the overall high score winning routine of the day is Maddie. I told every single one of you over the break that this is not going to be another year of Maddie working her butt off and you all sitting around. Kendall, Chloe, you both have solos this week. We're gonna see who my number two girl is. I know who my number one girl is, but who's right behind her? I am sick and tired of everybody else slacking off and letting Maddie carry these numbers. It's not gonna happen anymore. No solo for Maddie this week. Chloe, Kendall, it will be the battle of the pop stars. Chloe, your routine is inspired by Katy Perry. My favorite. And Kendall, you're gonna be an extreme individual like Lady Gaga. Good, good. Kendall has beaten Chloe in the past. She can beat her again. You need healthy competition. I'm all for it. Everyone will be in the group routine. The routine is called Just Another Number. Each one of you are just another number. Easily replaceable. Moms, you are dismissed. Girls, spread apart. Let's start warming up. Grand plie in second. Around, they're starting right away. Oh Three months? Thank Six you. Months. Six weeks? Yeah, no wonder. Oh, I was wow. like, look at the jacket. Five, six, seven, go. What is wrong with me? That I keep coming the group routine is entitled Just Another Number. I'm trying to teach the children if they were clones, if everybody did what Maddie did, then the routine would be perfection. I'm looking for a whole team full of Maddies. I want incredible dancers that are on the same beat at the same exact moment. That precision is what I'm going to be looking for at my open auditions next week. Two and three and four and five 
six. I think this dance is like you're just a number. It's yeah. once again, you're dancing to the theme that you can all be replaced. Like that you're not special, you're just a number. You're just a number. I disagree with that philosophy. These girls have heard it every single competition season. Peyton, when you lunge to the ground, your foot's like a club over here. Peyton's height, her size, the maturity in her dancing is ruining this piece. I'm trying to send a message that they're clones. And the first people I replace are gonna be the people that stand out like sore thumbs. Okay. I really, really want to be carefree this weekend. A third oh place win is not gonna be acceptable. And I think they'll be hungry for it because I think the loss at Nationals was humbling for them. I think they really uh, thought they they've been had won. I honestly think that this is gonna be a really tough one. We're back in the studio, working it out. It feels good. I feel like we actually established ourselves at Nationals. The talent has just escalated from bringing Blake in. And I think that we have all the right pieces now. And we've been nipping at Abby's heels for so long. I'm expecting win after win after win this year. Let's talk about the group dance. We're gonna do a lyrical number, and it's gonna be a beautiful lyrical number because we're gonna beat Abby at her own game. She thinks that she's the queen of lyrical, and we are going to show her that she isn't, that she's just the jester of lyrical. Abby's stuff is the same six steps over and over and over again. We need to do a clean lyrical piece. That's how she wins, and that's what we are presenting. I've done a lot of thinking about the solo. Nakaya, you are really improving by leaps and bounds. But I want to win this week, so... Lucas, you have a solo. Yay! Well, first, I don't appreciate Kathy fluffing me and Nakaya's head up with all of that. This week, we thought about you. You were seriously considered for a solo. I knew there was a big butt coming, a butt bigger than Abby's butt. Right, I hope he wins it this week. He better win it, because I'm going to drive her if he does not. When it was anybody else, it's like, OK, they did their best. Oh, my god. You gotta step up with them on three. So, Make Jill, you in it. weren't all that surprised that Kendall got a solo. Where are you going with this? Because she had a private on Sunday and when we came home. Started her. learning it? Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know when, but yeah, she had half an hour with Gianna. Rumor has it that Kendall had a private two days ago, and it just so happens that the solo that she has now is the same dance that she was working on in the private. Maddie's learned stuff all year. And yeah, then... and you complain about it. No, no, well, right, but my point is, I didn't know her solo would be this sweet. I don't care what you say. Until all the kids have the same number of privates, it's not an even playing field. Jill is just the kind of person who will make sure that Kendall does anything to win. But you all still she did knew, was she had a half hour. I knew she knew had she a half hour private. learning a solo yes. early, before Pyramid, before okay. any of her solo Two days was... ago, yeah. Okay, well, that's two extra days, and that's a half an hour more than Oh my God. Christy is all over me right now because Kendall had a half hour private to learn her solo and Chloe didn't. I'm not gonna sit around all week and listen to her bitch and moan about it. That's her problem, not mine. I, you know what, I don't wanna sit here and listen to this. I'm leaving. I'm going down to get privates, Christy, in case you're wondering. All right, listen to me. It's the battle of the pop stars. Girls, pop stars are always trying to be number one on the charts, number one on the radio, number one video out there. That's what it's all about. So I'm trying to figure out who's going to be my number one star. Or should I say, number two. Kendall and Chloe are battling for the number two position on this team. Maddie's the number one girl. I mean, she's proved herself time and time again. And with my open calls coming up, Maybe that number two spot isn't good enough. Uh, Chloe's solo this week is To Hear Me Roar. It's a jazz number inspired by Katy Perry. Now, Katy Perry is a confident young woman. 
She gets out on stage and she entertains that audience. She puts on a whole spectacular show. Can Chloe do that? Watch your arms, they're goofy. So tight. Run, run. Chloe has not had a solo in a really long time because she didn't get to dance at nationals. So this is her opportunity to prove not only to Abby, but to everyone that she is irreplaceable on this team. And the only way that she can do that is by beating Kendall. I think healthy competition can be good for the kids. They know one is gonna come in ahead of the other. Kendall's routine is demand applause, influenced by none other than Lady Gaga. She writes her songs about her joy, her victory, her defeat. Kendall doesn't do that. Kendall just tries to nail all the steps. She forgets about all this. I'm not gonna take anything away from Kendall. I think she's a fabulous dancer, but wasn't it Chloe and Maddie for years? Why all of a sudden is Chloe sort of by the wayside fighting for number two? I don't know, Jill, that's pretty clean for you only having 30 minutes on that. I don't know what you want me to say. I really need her to be her best this weekend. We're going up against Abby. She does the same tired lyrical number week after week after week. So we're going to beat her at her own game. We're going to do a lyrical number also, but ours will be amazing. I do think that Blake is over choreographing. This is what happened with Nationals. He over choreographed and up until the last minute and we lost. I kind of think that's the path we're going down this week. Maybe this is a little too much choreography, like you're over choreographing. So we have two days. I don't want it to be dumbed all the way down, but I think maybe it's a little too much. How come nobody will back me up? Okay, but you know what? We are totally wasting time right now, so let's get back right. to business. This piece is difficult, yes. Is it challenging for the kids? Yes, but it's going to be amazing. She just needs to simmer down and let Blake and me work. We love you, but we need to get busy. stepping off of this bus. We have home field advantage, our kids are amazing, and our team is flawless. Abby is going to go blind from the way that we shine. Today, we're attending the Believe competition in Columbus, Ohio. And Kathy and her rotten crab apples are already here. I don't have time to exchange pleasantries with her. I have a competition to win. Today is a really important day for us. Chloe and Kendall are battling, you know, for the number two spot. We're going up against Kathy and her candy apples. And you have the whole open audition thing looming over our heads. All of that together is like a perfect storm. All right, Kendall, Chloe, who is going to reign supreme at the end of this competition? It better not be Lucas. Ooh, that was nice and sharp. I think simple. More hips on that. Simple. Oh, might have Lucas, been. lots of uh, hips. Sure. She Lucas is up soon, and he's relaxed, he's loose, he's warm, he's ready to go. Blake has instilled a great confidence in him that he didn't have last season. I think he's practically a reborn dancer, ready to conquer. All right, guys. <laughs> I think it's you who does the chant. Okay. 
Who are we? Come on, Black Patsy, jump in. The solo should have gone to Nakaya in the first place, but since it did not and it went to Lucas, I kind of want the kid to lose, just to shut Bridget up. Who are we? Applesore, Applesore, Applesore! I'm no. sorry, let okay. us sit in front of the B team, because we're here now. Go Thank right you. ahead. Go right ahead. You mean the blonde? <laughs> no, I mean the B team. <laughs> ¿Dónde está el amor? No sabes cuánto lo he buscado. Si sabes de su parar, me gustaría ir contigo a rescatarlo y seguir así los dos juntos de una vez sin nada que nos separe de él y juntos por fin escapar con él solo tú y yo y el amor también acompáñame acompáñame a escapar con él iremos al sol Neptuno y Plutón donde quiera que se estaremos los dos acompáñame acompáñame a escapar con él iremos al sol Estaremos los dos Será un triángulo de amor Tú y yo Y el amor también Lucas did a great job. Anybody that is going to be following Lucas definitely needs to step up to the plate and not have any flaws in their routine. Did you see a program? I didn't have candle sex. Um, I, I don't know. I'm looking at the program, and it says that Kendall is scheduled to go last. Christy looks over at me and says, Chloe's going last. So I don't know what's going on backstage. All I know is that Kendall needs to get on that stage and bring it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, continuing on here, this will be Kendall. Kendall is the man of the
stumbles on a turn during her opening turn sequence, and that might be just the opening Chloe needs to calm herself down. I wish I could have the judges come back to the dressing room and watch them do it again. Do you think the floor is slippery? No, I think it's sticky. Maddie just did 10 turns in the dressing room. I mean, they're using jazz shoes, too. Maddie's using that half sole. Leslie, shut up. Just giving my input. I'm sitting in front of my enemy, and here goes Leslie, just running her mouth and then giving me lip in front of all these people like she's some big dance expert. Leslie, you're not going to make me look bad. really important solo for Chloe. You know, she's battling Kendall for the number two spot, and she really needs to prove to Abby that she deserves her spot on this team. Hi, Carol. Hello, Hi, hello, Carol. hello. How are you? Good job. Could have been better. You came out and looked stunning, gorgeous, and then choked on that first turn. Fell backwards out of it. You watched her from the wings below the first turn, and then you played it safe. Sometimes the competition MC calls out the wrong order. Chloe got lucky, and she used it to her advantage. Had she gone out there and nailed that turn, you would have been a mess going out there after her. Got it? Abby's right. If Kendall danced after Chloe, maybe we would be having a different conversation right now. <gasps> Wait, everyone, just listen. Wait. Hear it? Zed. Oh, it's quiet. Silence. If I would have known all it takes to get Leslie out of her room is to tell her to shut up, I would have told her to shut up a long time ago. I've been nothing but supportive and loyal to Abby. I've had her back from day one. And she disrespects me like this? Are you kidding me? All right, moms, I want you to get the hair done for the group number so the kids have time to practice in the hair. I need to talk to Leslie to calm her down. She needs to think about Peyton. She can't act like this. Not when Abby's trying to replace all the kids from the team. Listen, let me just talk. Okay, no, but no, I don't want this. Okay, I don't she... like this. Did you think any of us did? No, I don't she like She didn't it. cross the line. She was just, that's no, Abby, not, you know. No, she's never talked to me like that in public, and I'll, I won't, are you kidding me? I've heard her. Listen to me. If you want 
to sit in an audience and let Abby Lee Miller tell you to shut up and remember where you came from, then you do that. As soon as I can get out of here, I'm gonna leave. Okay, what you need to do is not hurt your daughter. Don't hurt her and let her go in there with all the girls getting ready. And then you're making a scene. Leslie broke down last week and now she's crying in the hallway. Maybe the pressure's really getting to her that Peyton might be replaced. You dance like that? I'm gonna love sitting behind Abby because I wanna see her head just start to bobble. Now, I'm really mad at Abby right now, and I don't want to be here, but I'm here because I'm here for Peyton. I'm going to suck it up, and I'm going to bite my tongue, but after this group number, I am going to give Abby a piece of my mind. All right, this is it. I don't want another third place. The girls need to show me that this routine is not just another number. It has to be amazing, spectacular. One of those routines that people talk about for the rest of the year. They have to be good enough to beat the candy apples. And most importantly, they better prove to me they have what it takes to stay on this team. Because when your number's up, it's up. So go out there and impress these judges. Let's go.
hate to say it, but the Candy Apples group number was pretty good. Come awards time, they may give us a run for our money. for Kendall to place higher than Chloe and Lucas. I really want this for her. I need this for her. Here we go, starting with fifth place. Will be entry number 12. Demand applause with Kendall. Kendall's fifth, not good enough. Not good enough for Kendall, not good enough for me, and really not good enough for Abby. This may be the end of Kendall Solos. Fourth place regional champion, ladies and gentlemen, goes to entry number 13, Lucas. <laughs> Lucas came in fourth. Was he the best choice for a solo? I don't know. Maybe Black Patsy was right. Third place regional champion will be entry number nine. We need that. For second place. Regional champion, Chloe. Chloe beat Kendall today. You know, she did what Abby challenged her to do. She proved that she really is the number two dancer on this team. And I really hope that that's enough to keep her on this team. All right, now let's go to overall 9 to 11 small group, third place. Regional champion today, entry number 34, Titanium. Very tight race. Overall, a 9 to 11 small group advanced champions here at Believe. Ladies and gentlemen, your second place regional champion will be number 37, I Believe. And in a very tight race, ladies and gentlemen, your overall. Once again, we have beaten the candy apples. Thanks for another victory, Kathy. I appreciate it. Yay! Yay! Good job! So good, good girl. Job. So you beat them, you were number one. But let's face it, this was our second competition. It's the beginning of the season. You have a long road ahead of you. Because I'm having open call auditions. People will be vying for your spots on this team. Now, the girls can't get comfortable with this win. They need to keep working just as hard because I'm gonna go out there looking for new dancers to be on this team. Nobody's spot is safe. Now, Kendall, today was a disappointment, and I think you're disappointed in yourself. I've seen you dance better. Just because she didn't place higher than Chloe doesn't mean she's not as good as Chloe. Kendall has a lot more to give, and I hope Abby gives her those opportunities to prove that she can be right there, right behind Maddie. Chloe, you were supposed to dance first. I don't know what happened backstage, but you went after her. You learned from her mistake. But today, that helped you out. You gave a nice, clean performance. You backed off the turns. You didn't go for broke. You played it safe, and that worked out in your favor today. So if Maddie has some opportunity, you're my number two girl to go to. I'm happy for Chloe that she's reclaimed her spot as the number two dancer on the team, but I'm a dance mom, and I want more for her. I want Chloe to be number one. Now, Peyton, I'm going to dismiss every, no, I'm going to say it in front of everyone. I have given you countless opportunities to be part of this team. But your mother's behavior today is unacceptable. And I don't want you to follow in her footsteps. Yeah, I didn't start trouble. Problem. I didn't start trouble. He told me to shut up in public. I'm supposed to take that. 
Abby got mad at me and disrespected me in front of everybody, and now she's gonna pick on Peyton? No way, Abby. What more do you want from us? There comes a time when your kid has to stand on their own two feet and mommy has to quit fighting. Leslie, stop fighting. I'm not the enemy. I'm your kid's best friend. I ridiculous. said maybe she fell out of her turns for a shoe and you told me to shut up. Because that is not you shut your up. place. Shut that up. is not your place. You know what? Sometimes no, I no, have to speak in you simple terms. Do not disrespect me. Don't ever tell me to shut up again. You were wrong, Abby. You were wrong. This is a dance competition. Kiss my I ass. I am a dance teacher. I have kissed your ass. I let you come back. I respected you and I and I stay at your studio because I liked you and I like what you taught my daughters. I don't like this. I don't like you telling me to shut up. Leslie, just go ahead and leave. Nobody cares anymore. You just sealed your daughter's fate. Peyton, it looks like you were just another number. You were done with Kathy. You went back to Abby's for season three. What was that season all about for you? Season three was all about getting a thick skin and understanding where our role was. And you know, Abby has one favorite. Maddie. And Maddie. That's a no-brainer. Of course, honey, but we knew that coming in, but because you have to learn how to manage it and how to deal with it. Kendall, turn your left foot in and invert it and make sure your ankle's on the floor on one knee. Oh, I did not have good hair. That's your feet, Kendall. When you shoot out to that jazz back bend. Oh! Okay, Maddie's knee Watch was bent. Your... Her leg wasn't straight. Okay. But you're too busy watching Maddie, this. You don't Maddie, see any of that. Maddie, you can take a private from Miss Jill next week. You Abby, I'm just straight. saying you could be a little more critical to both get children, not just one. If she was perfect, she'd have a solo. She's not perfect. Do it one more time, honey. Stop. I will. You know what? She tell her to stop. You've worked really hard, and all she does is say you're one foot. Come on, Kendall. Come on. I gave it to her. I understand that, I but now her for the you're tearing her down. I am Why? not tearing her down. I'm yes, correcting you are. her foot. You're going to ruin it. Jill, I know, your child's it's all my fault, and Abby. I'm correcting it. Why did you have to do this? Because I'm oh. not going to let that big, you know what, sit there <laughs> and belittle you. And I hope everybody's Go happy. Ahead. The plan Chloe, take fell Kendall. into place. That's all she worked on all week was screaming at Kendall. Girls, I'm not putting up with this crap. You either dance now, you get in the wings, or you find another studio. Oh, she was brood. Well, do you remember that? When oh, that happened? yeah, I remember well, how, that. Well, how, what were you feeling? There was, like, thunder and lightning coming in. I think a tornado was about to form. Kendall, stop. Maybe a tsunami. So what were you thinking? Why wouldn't you be mad at Abby? Why would you be mad at me for sticking up for you? If I not. yelled at Abby like I, you yell at Abby... I would never say... I'd be back on probation, bottom of the pyramid, bottom, bottom, bottom of the pyramid. I would never say yell at Below the Abby. actual line of the pyramid. What we just saw was Abby picking on you. That wasn't constructive criticism. There was nothing constructive about that. I knew from the minute I stepped in that studio that Maddie was always going to be the favorite. Abby would always give her the most solos and the most attention. And I really just wanted to be like that. Come on, ladies, let's go. All righty. We went to Youngstown, Ohio. To intensity dance. We won. Highest scoring group. Red carpet special. We should have won. You're national champions. Let's move on to the pyramid. I have Chloe. Chloe, remembering your choreography. That is what you need to work on. Write it down. Maybe if you write it out, it'll sink in. Try that. This week, Abby has Chloe at the bottom of the pyramid because she forgot her solo. And you know what? For once, I can't really argue with Abby because Chloe did forget her solo, and she's getting older, and she needs to take responsibility for her actions. She forgot. Next, Mia. Mia, you don't apply the corrections. That's what you need to do. Try writing them down. Next, Mackenzie. Mackenzie, when I took you out of the group, I gave you this cute little part to do. And thank goodness it was humorous. Because had they started timing our number, we would have been disqualified. And the Abby Lee Dance Company is not gonna get disqualified. All she had to do was grab this rope 
and pull the carpet across the stage. She kept getting it stuck. I will never forgive Mackenzie for what she did. She made a mockery of the beginning of that routine. You will not be in the group numbers going forward. Not until it's appropriate for you. Understood? And Paige, you got the featured part. You had the big jump, the tilt, whack. You could have made that fabulous, but you didn't do that. You were given an opportunity, and instead of running with it, it was mediocre. I think Abby takes her frustration out on the kids. Like, if Abby's mad at me, she takes it out on Paige. Just because I don't want to be there, that should not be any reflection onto Paige. Next, Maddie. You were good. I noticed she had the Sophia hairdo. I thought we had the Sophia energy. The Sophia turns. Not worry about the hairdo. I think there's enough pressure on Maddie without being compared to Sophia. But now I know how the mo other moms feel when Abby does it to their children. Next, Kendall. You were in the front. You were given a correction 100 times. Did you keep up with Sophia? I don't know. And at the top of the pyramid is Sophia. I, I think like the ceiling was going to cave in at the Abby Lee Dance Company because Maddie was not on the top of the pyramid. It was Sophie. Kind of a given. She won the high score overall, 9 to 11 year old. And she won the entire competition. She was the high score of the day. Sophia is still a part of this team, and she will remain on the pyramid. Just because she's in LA shooting a movie, that's just another feather in my cap. This weekend, we will be traveling to Greensboro, North Carolina. We will be attending Dance Troupe Challenge. Since Brooke's not in the pyramid, does that mean she's not going this weekend? Well, Brooke, I want to know, what happened over the weekend? Friday, I was here. Right. I went home. And then Saturday, I went to my friend's house. And Sunday, I worked on a project all day. So you didn't come to rehearsal Sunday? You're 14. You've been taking ballet class but since you were six or seven years old. Gabby, if she's going to do that, like, she spent the entire week learning the number with this group. Why wouldn't she just go away with us and compete the number? But that doesn't mean you don't do anything dance-wise all weekend. I realized that Brooke didn't dance last week, so she's not on the pyramid, but she is still part of the group. Sophia's not even here, and she's at the top of the pyramid, and Brooke is, and she's not on it at all. The group piece is entitled Voyage Home. This is a very serious piece. You will be immigrants. Everybody will be in the routine, but Brooke, who will be staying home, and Mackenzie. Brooke, I want to see you work to get back into this group. Mackenzie, you will be doing a solo. My next solo will be Paige. My next routine will be a duet with Maddie and Kendall. Moms, you can head upstairs. Ladies, spread apart. Start warming up. You want to sit in your old spot? There you go. Thank you. Brooke, go over there and play the music for us, please, because I don't want Gianna's like counting you in this and you're not in it. Let's use Mackenzie. I am planning on Sophia showing up in the competition and participating in the group number. I have special parts built for her. She's going to work out just fine. Start backing up. Everybody backing up. I have Mackenzie being the swing and blocking the spaces for Sophia. It should be up there, Brooke. Wait, I said that already. Wait. She put Mackenzie in now? Yeah, Brooke's now running the music. Get your right foot back. Dig your right foot. This week's theme is very lightly about immigrating. It's more about getting across that border. It's about the struggle. And now we're stepping out and across. It's a really cool contemporary piece. The music's great. And I want the kids to push themselves artistically. Some of the feet are flexed. They're pulling on each other. There's some partner work. And that's something new for these kids. And run! 
So Brooke's really going to further her dance education by running the music and watching. This is Sophia. This is not anybody else. She's playing like Sophie. You know what I mean? Although I'm happy I'm not competing this weekend, there is a part of me that really wishes I was there because I wanted to show the girls that although I'm not on the team, I still do really care, and I just wanted to support them. My daughter was here all last week, and she's here today for Pyramid. Two weeks in a row, she's been here for Pyramid and has not been on that Pyramid. Sophia is on top of the pyramid, and she's not, and she's here not even here. Brooke is part Sunday. of the team. She needs to be at the dance competition right. with me. It's bullshit. Remember, you're an immigrant coming through the desert or coming on a boat that you've been on for days and days and days. Wait, did Abby just say that they're immigrating? It has to do with them being immigrants in the Abby Lee Dance Company. Except we've been on this team since they were born. Yep, that's what it is. She got lucky, because oh, these little oh immigrants God. are good dancers. Watch that back foot. Keep it pressed into the ground. Flex your feet there, Kendall. Turn your left. I didn't think about when Dee did Maddie's hair. I'm like, oh, man, it does look like Sophie's. Do you think Maddie said she doesn't have a solo? Um, she's happy she has a duet. Is she happy? So, yeah. Are you she's, OK with that? Oh, yeah. She's tickle pink. You have to know that Maddie feels a little disappointed in Abby and sure. the I, Sophia thing. Oh, I, a little? Are you kidding me? It's not a little, honey. What does she say? She's like, Mom, I like Sophia. I said, honey, well, I know something you do. to do with that. Maddie's amazing on her own. She doesn't need that from Abby. It's just not fair. But guess what? Kendall could be amazing on her own, too. So it's a great day to go visit Abby. It's never a good day to visit Abby. Abby asked us all to come over her house and go through her garage and look for old dance stuff. Like, I don't know why we can't say no to this lady. Hello. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Wow. Here's the main things that I'm looking for. I'm looking for old programs, but there's also some props that I think that we could do for dance routines that we don't have to pay for new props to be made. All right, get started. Let's go, let's go. I'm not touching anything in here. God knows what's growing in that garage, and I do not feel like getting a case of scabies. <gasps> There's mice droppings in there. Oh my gosh, I, I hit a jack. Oh. Oh. Look, you oh. have. Look at Abby God. here. Too pure to be pink, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa is like gung ho on cleaning out this garage. She's thinking, I'm going to kick butt cleaning this garage because Maddie's going to get her at the top of the pyramid. This is right up Melissa's alley. I don't, I don't know what's worse, her cleaning out the junk or kissing Abby's ass. She had the jackpot. This is what had your name on it. Kelly on probation for cursing in the studio, 1979. <laughs> Some things never change, huh? Uh, I'll do my It was a lovely afternoon. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Bye, Holly. Oh, she's running. All right, I got two photos, ladies. So I'm <laughs> sneaking out of the building. <laughs> I got the one of Abby's oh, mother with a black hair. eye. And the and same hairdo. I'm going to dream about this tonight and think yes. that I did it to her. <laughs> now, the name of your routine is Lemonade. But I don't want a lemon out on that stage. You know what a lemon is? A lemon is when you buy a car and everything goes wrong with the car. My solo this week is called Lemonade, and I'm going to be a big glass of L-E-M-O-N-A-D-E. Like when something's sour, it's like, mm. all right, go. Mackenzie does cute well, but she has a few more difficult tricks in her routine this week. She's doing her round off back tuck on stage on the bare floor. She's doing her aerial walkover. She's doing side aerials. So I feel like pushing her in the level of difficulty of her routine, it needs to be more than a split. That does look funny. <laughs> I love it. She was like sitting on her boobs, her bosom. All right, Paige, you're going to dance now. God, Paige is going to get tortured. No, yeah, she's in a good mood. You were her servant no, today. No, you, yeah, you, you hooked her up. You only stole two things. And... <laughs> Shut up, Jill. I think you're, you're ahead of the game. All right, now, Paige, you're 12. 
You're gonna be dancing 12, 13. So you need to dance up. You need to dance older and make things big. Give it 100%. This is my first full of the season, so I need to be better than good, and I need to prove to Miss Abby that I deserve to be here. Stop. The, the arms are not a dish rag, a dishwashcloth. She's yelling at her about her arms because Paige has noodly arms. And oh, I, that's so long, that's and fine. I totally agree with Abby. And I don't mind Abby for yelling at her for her arms because that is, when she yells at her for being stupid, that bothers me. Don't look at your mother. Every time you look at your mother, you get 20 push-ups. I think Paige is ready for this solo, and Abby just doesn't ever give her a chance. And I think if she would give Paige the chance and get her up on stage, she would get used to it. All right, breathe. Go get a drink. We're going on to the group. I'm going to go downstairs for a little bit. OK. okay. What are you doing? Uh, get back to the top of that pyramid any way, shape, or form you can. Does anybody else feel like this? I'm fine. I don't care. Is, is an act. Melissa and Maddie are so overwhelmed by the fact that Sophia is here on the team and they're kind of living in her shadow. I don't think either one of them know what to do with themselves now that they're in somebody else's shadow. Paige, back foot! Three times I've told you. More acting. I don't think you understand that you're, like, there's people with machine guns in their cars that won't let you get out of the car. Like, you need to be stronger. I'm not, I'm saying this. Be tougher. Come on. Don't be so weak. On your left, eight, four, five, six. We're starting the duet. It's called Sugar and Spice. Understood? I don't know why you're all laughing and silly. That much time ago, you were doing a solo and had the top of the pyramid. That's where you always were. And now, you're her duet partner? I wouldn't be laughing about it. Well, why is a duet something that's downgraded? I don't know, because Sophia's the star now, so she is getting the solos. But a duet or a trio is still a lovely thing to do. That's what I said. It's, I think it is, It's too. not a downgraded opportunity. So you don't feel like that's a downgrade? No, absolutely not. I think a duet is a, a great dance. Anytime Mia gets a chance to dance, I am happy. So I don't know what Melissa thinks. I think it's great. Sugar and Spice is a very fun dance. It's upbeat and cute, but it's not hard. I wish I had a solo this week because solos are so much more challenging for me. Now look at each other like, what are you wearing? Uh-huh. I really want to do well in the duet because since there's only two people, you can sort of tell if one messes up. All right, girls, you're done for right now. You have tomorrow and Saturday morning we leave for Greensboro. Got it? Oh, somebody was in here looking for stuff. Yeah, because I this was just all, look. We all know that Melissa wants Maddie back on top of the pyramid, and she wants her daughter doing a solo. Hey, uh, what'd you think about the duet? Not happy about that, but... Maddie was the one doing a solo every week, and now she's doing a duet with Kendall. Wait, yeah. Now, I think, you know, it, it's different. Did Melissa just admit to me that she's not happy Maddie has a duet with Kendall? Interesting. If Abby thinks this is a downgrade for Maddie, she's wrong because Kendall can keep up and this duet looks adorable. I just don't understand why she has to consistently always drag Kendall down. What concerns me the most is that you came in and told Maddie that she's been downgraded to a duet with Kendall. How do you think that makes Kendall feel? Kendall is dancing with Maddie and that's what she wanted. I mean, she's been that's... dancing with Maddie for a year now, not in a not, duet. Never but... in a duet, never even in one trio. I don't think it was... that was fair to say. Hey, <laughs> Melissa was the one that stood in the store and told me she wasn't thrilled about her kid doing a duet with Kendall. I don't know where you want me to go with that. That's just rude. Why do people think their kids are so above others? Melissa, you're busted. You lied to me. Um, have you heard from Sophia? I have not heard from Sophia. Oh. I'm a little worried about her being on that movie. How are the dances? I finished the duet this morning. OK. It's hard. It's hard? Yeah. 
You're ready. Hello. That looks good. Hi, guys. Chloe was telling me last night, basically, like, you know how Sophia has the whole solo part, but then she was saying, there's a whole section that's only Maddie, and she said, Abby was saying, like, you know, Sophia gets left behind, but Maddie crosses the border, and she's like, Mom, what about the four other four of us? She's like, she never even mentioned us. Well, how about this? I was talking to Abby, and I went in to say oh thank you for the duet. And she said, you know, Melissa came flat out and said she didn't want to do it. Oh, my Melissa God. Melissa said to Abby? Mm-hmm. I guess me. because she thinks Maddie's too good to dance with Kendall. <gasps> mm -hmm. Abby told Jill that Melissa was not happy doing a duet with Kendall, that it was a step down from doing a solo. And I think that really hurt Joe and Kendall's feelings. Melissa told us that story upstairs, and Melissa said, oh, I talked to Abby, and Abby said, how do you feel about the duet? And she said, oh, I'm really happy about it. Oh, she did! Did you say that? <laughs> she yeah. did! Someone here is lying. Abby, as everybody knows, just speaks the truth. She doesn't care if she's going to hurt your feelings or not. Melissa has lied to me many of times before. But do you think that's wrong? Yes! Definitely. You're allowed to not be happy about it. Don't lie, lie about, about it. it. What do I do? I mean, I would definitely say something. I don't want to cause any drama with this duet, but I can't let Melissa get away with this. I can't let her think that her kid is too good to dance with mine. All right, so ready? Take it from your whole hip section. Five, six, seven, eight, and... Everybody counts the rhythm, show us the way okay. you dance. Hi. Hi, how are you? We're doing a project. And down. Now, what did you do after the back handspring? Can we coupe out of that? Can we leap out of that? Can we jump out of that? I have to tell you that Abby told me last night that you weren't happy about doing a duet what, with Kendall. What? And it, and it hurts my feelings. Well, I mean, I don't want to get all angry and scream. I never said that. Well, why would Abby tell me that? She lies all the time. Never said that. Well, tell me how the conversation I told you. went that she would get that, that you weren't happy about. Never said it. Jill? I guess what hurts the most is, one, that Abby truly believes that you think Maddie's too good to dance with Kendall. I never said that. And that is hurtful. Well, it's really funny. And really disappointing, because Christy sat here and asked you how many times. I'm excited. And you told me how excited. I well, told I'm you. I'm very excited. I told you. And excited. Kendall's very excited. I told I, I you. I think exactly. things like that just hurt the kids' feelings. Of course it does. But I didn't hurt the kids' feelings because Abby asked me. I even told you. I told you guys all yesterday. She said, What do you think of the duet? And I said, I'm so excited. And she goes, well, It's a step down. That's what she said to me. Melissa just lied right to my face. She told me she was happy about the duet with Kendall, and Abby told me the exact opposite. Melissa, you're busted. You lied to me. And let's face it, they're all different levels. They all have their strengths and their weaknesses. I think but they're... it's not fair for a teacher to say one kid's too good to dance with another or for a mother to agree with it. And that's, I don't know how it went down, but that's what Abby led me to believe. Well, you can believe whatever you want to, Jill. Now, the girls, obviously, immigrants, watch, ladies. The costumes for this week's competition need to be dark and dramatic. I want the girls to look as though they've been through a whole lot to get across that border. Where are these children immigrating from? We don't know. They're trying to cross the border. It's not about where they're coming from and where they're going. It's about the voyage home. I'm listening to Abby's definition of immigration, and I'm confused. How on earth can you immigrate home? Hi, Jim. Good morning. You wouldn't know what to do if we didn't have pink suitcases. That's right. We're going back to Greensboro, North Carolina this week, and we actually attended DTI last year. So we're familiar with the competition. We know the judges. We did well last year. Come on, Jim. Let's go. Ladies, we're going to the dance troupe challenge, and we need to remember that those kids are already there. They're already working. So when you step into that hotel, you don't know who's a judge. You don't know who's a faculty member. You don't know who's running it. Game face is on. No back talking your moms. Get in there and pretend you're dancers. Yes? Oh, here we go. Good luck today. Thinking of you all. Just got to set here in LA. Last day of filming. Miss you all. So what does that mean? No Sophia this weekend. No Sophia this weekend. See, you should have just put Brooke on the team from day one. Well, day one, you weren't there. You didn't show day up on day one. Week. 
Well, this week is a little she late, Kelly. Yeah, well, Sophia wasn't there day one of this week either, was she? Brooke no. was there, she wasn't. No, nope, she was doing a movie in Hollywood. Brooke was at school with her friends. Big difference. Kelly, you have to understand, I want stars. I don't want mediocre. We know you want stars, Abby, and it's clear that you'll do whatever it takes to get those stars. If you really want to call it out, then maybe you should say something in front of Abby. Yeah, but think of it this way. If Abby had to pick whose side she's going to take, I mean, oh, I don't know about if that. honesty's not the best policy and she's going to pick a side, I mean, I'm dead Definitely. mean. Abby is not going to want to be the one who is accused of lying. I think she'll choose her own side, because if Melissa's calling her a liar, Abby's not going to stand for being called a liar. champions. So step up to the plate, get it in gear, figure it out, and no lazy mistakes. Page, you're 12 now. Were your arms straight behind you like Chloe's and your sternum open every time you rolled around? Were your elbows lifted and supported through your back on your PK, PK? Tense cap. Those are all things that we went over and over and over. I feel like Paige wants to get out there and show Abby that she can do this solo. She is listening, and, and she will make a few of those corrections. Mackenzie, you made a mockery of your entire routine with that bow falling out and then doing your back handspring the wrong direction. Now you have an even bigger headpiece. Don't let it happen again. All right, are we ready? Let's walk the mile. Game face is on. Good luck. Paige, go out there and dance like you've never danced before. No mistakes. Got it? Up next, Mackenzie performing Lemonade. Her back tuck was outstanding. Her face was cute. All of her jumps were nice and high. She did a great job. This is my first solo of the season, and all I'm thinking is of Abby's corrections and Abby screaming in my head, do this right, do that right. Up next, from the Abby Lee Dance Company, Paige performing I Wanna Dance.
dance was great. She looked confident. She made a lot of the corrections. She wasn't perfect, but nobody's perfect. I thought both of them did really I well. Did. I did. You know Abby's going to have something to say. And you know, I, I'm trying to behave myself and kiss her ass this week. So <laughs> I'm going to sit here and bite my tongue. That's so hard to do. <gasps> Kelly, this is where you called her a whore. <laughs> Oh, Kelly, go get a job! Oh, you are a whore. I have to behave here this year. You could be like, whore the sequel. <laughs> yeah, I missed it last year. I was oh, working. Holly, it wasn't good. Whore the sequel. <laughs> yeah. oh, good job! Good job! If Miss Abby comes in here and says mean things, just listen and ignore. Yeah. Hey, girls! <laughs> Nice job. Paige, how do you think you did? Good. Good. I thought you were wonderful. thought it was fabulous. That's a big arch back, Kendall. So, Abby, I have a question about you came right out and said, Melissa said she doesn't want to do the duet. We were discussing the duet, and she said, I'm not too crazy about it either. That's that not what was I her said. words. I'm not too crazy about not having a solo, is what I said. Well, I think everybody in this room knows you have a selective memory. I did not say that. Come on, Melissa. Your ex-husband told me how many times were you on the phone with me, telling me this, telling me that. You'd hang up with me and call somebody else and rip all over me. I have been so dedicated to that studio. You are the person that is love the one you're with. If, if your kid's doing a duet with Chloe, you're up Christie's butt. Yay! Da, 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 da. Come on. You know, Melissa, if she's with me, she agrees with my opinion. If she's sitting next to Jill, she's going to tell Jill whatever Jill wants to hear. Kendall, turn your left foot in and invert it and make sure your ankle's on the floor on one knee. Stretch your feet, Kendall, when you shoot out to that jazz back bend. Oh! OK, Maddie's knee Punch was it. bent. It's perch. It's supposed to be bent. But her second, her leg wasn't straight. OK. But you're too busy watching Maddie, this. You don't Maddie, see any of that. Maddie, you can take a private from Miss Jill next week. And Abby, get your I'm just straight. saying you could be a little more critical to both get children, not just one the whole time. Maddie's so, not so perfect. Now, I'm sorry. So I never she's said Maddie was perfect. perfect. If she was perfect, she'd have a solo. She's not perfect. Do it one more time, honey. She's not. I will. You know what? She, tell her to stop. You've worked really hard, and all she does is say, you're one foot. Come on, Kendall, come on. I gave it to her. I understand that, I but now for the duet. you're tearing her down. I am Why? not tearing her down. I'm yes, correcting her foot. You're going to ruin it. Jill? I know, it's all my fault, and Abby. I'm it. Why did you have to do this? Because I'm not going to let that big, you know what, sit there and belittle you. I'm not. I can't stand to hear her screaming at Kendall anymore. I can't stand it. This is the plan. Go I ahead. hope everybody's Go happy. Ahead. The plan Chloe, take Kendall. fell into place. That's all she worked on all week was screaming at Kendall. Girls, I'm not putting up with this crap. You either dance now, you get in the wings, or you find another studio.
went very well. I thought we were together, and Kendall took all the corrections and applied them. Good job. You did good, guys. Really good job. Nice job, ladies. Thank you. It's okay, Abby, you can give corrections. Oh, you're allowing me to correct my students now? You can do whatever you want. I just don't want you screaming, hurting feelings before they go out on stage. Jill, if you looked at your kid doing that dance and thought that her leg was in Alice Cone, go to the optometrist or the ophthalmologist, because it was not. You needed to get up off your chair and fix and hands on and show her. I did! You sat right there. I Jill, said... in the studio, you get your face out of your phone and pay attention. Because you have said to me, if Kendall just gets her chance, if Kendall just gets an opportunity, she will dance up to that level. I gave it. I didn't see it. And you picked on her the entire week about it. Pick on her? Yes. Kiss my butt. No, thank you. Get over yourself. Every time I call her out, good or bad, I am fixing her. Say thank you. Every time I say your kid's name, it should be a thank you. When I never say it, start worrying. Start worrying. Let's get it rocking! I really, really need this duet to score well. Because if it doesn't, we know who Abby's gonna blame. She already set the stage that it's gonna be Kendall's fault if the duet doesn't win. In the junior age division, ladies and gentlemen, our overall solos for level two. First place, Lemonade Abby. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! In our intermediate solos for level two, taking our third place is number 205, I Wanna Dance, Abby Lee Dance Company. I think Paige is in her glory. She was the third overall high score in her age division. For Paige, that's pretty darn good. Our highest score for our duet trios, taking third place highest score duet trio is We Hate Boys, Divine Dance. Second place is going home with Alouetta Studio. Sugar and Spice with Maddie and Kendall. One first. Am I surprised? Am I shocked? No. They were looking at Maddie. Guaranteed. Oh, you did wonderful. I'm so proud of you. You and Maddie were a good pair. You guys were good out there. Listen, let's go out and make this group number the best it's ever been. Congratulations, girls! Congrats, congrats, congrats! You should all be just fine without Sophia. Kendall, you remember your part, how you move into the middle where Sophia used to be? You're not gonna screw that up. You know what you're doing. I think the girls will be fine doing the parts because Sophia never really did the dance. No, I know. Just, I mean, compare her devil pay point blank to Chloe's. Yes, and her dance teacher from San Diego taught it where you taught Chloe. So her... No, I taught Chloe to do it correctly. Chloe pikes it forward, and she gets told about it every time she does it. Right now, we're getting ready to do the group. And since me and Maddie won for the duet, I think we have a big chance of winning with the group. Let's welcome the Abby Lee Dance Company performing Voyage Home.
That was the Abbey Lee Dance Company performing Voyage Home. Most of the girls did a good job on the group dance. I just hope the judges weren't watching the immigrants with the sickle feet and the bad timing. Good job. job. <laughs> I liked it. Does anybody know who messed up? Don't throw anyone under the no, bus, children. No, 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 but don't throw anyone under the bus. Because Abby was like, somebody messed something up, and Abby was just, just like looked at all the moms. And we, she I was, was all like, <sighs> So, Christy, I'm not so sure that was amazing. No, but they usually are very amazing. Christy's mouth is always big and full of things to say. She wants to think that everybody's amazing. I don't wake up amazing. It takes me hours to get this way. Come on, girls, let's go. <laughs> And now, the scores for the small groups. Our third place trophy goes to Smooth Criminal. Our second place trophy goes to Blow. And our first place trophy goes to Voyage Home from the Abbey Lee Dance Company. Voyage Home was a success. Was it amazing, Christy? No. And is it your place to say that? Certainly not. But they won, and it'll go down in the history books as another victory for the Abby Lee Dance Company. Just because they got lucky in one? Kendall, are you going to admit that you screwed the whole dance up and that you were off timing? I messed up one part, not the whole dance. It couldn't have been that bad because they won the whole thing, Abby. Yeah. You know what? You're Last week so they were looking at Sophia. Point. Today, you couldn't take your eyes off of Maddie. How hurtful is that? How ignorant is that to say to a child in front of everybody when the number just won? Some people are good soloists. Some people are better in a group. Other people choke on stage. There you have it. The moms did not like you. I think they found me and you maybe a little bit threatening. Listen, we are all in this together. I say it all the time. But when the time came for the moms to stick up for me, not one of them did. People ask, why do you do this? They sometimes see only the bad in Abby. And there is good to it as well. And. My job as a mom, I have to manage the good and the bad, and I have to manage Kendall and teach her right from wrong. You're not a quitter. You never were. If I were a quitter, follow... I wouldn't be here today. That's right. You will follow your dream. If you can survive Abby Lee Miller and everything she has put you through, you can survive anything. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. You're a fighter, and, and I think your toughest job, you're doing it right now with Abby. You will never have a She's tougher She's the boss toughest job to handle. I, I believe that. Oof.